And we're live. Hello, welcome to the Root Winter Tournament 2023 Game 3. My name's Garrick. This is Lily. Hi! From Makecraft Game. Uh, our players today are Jam Man. What's up? ETO. Hello. DJ Think. What up, what up? And Neffer Neffer. Hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Uh, well, you know what to do. You know where to find me if you need me. So good luck and have fun. You can get started. All right. This is a draft from hell. All right. Is it? Oh, my. <laughs> I hadn't looked. I had. Play on winter. Yes. Love me some winter map. Very spread out clearings, too. And I am first. Don't really have those clusters. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. At most, we've got two clearings together, but otherwise... Um, yeah, this is... I thought the duchy was the Lord of the Hunters for a second, and then I thought it really was a draft from hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cosmic. <laughs> so we would assume duchy are like first pick here. I would, I would assume, yeah. And yeah. typically, it's easy to pick duchy or river. I mean, honestly, Riverfolk on winter isn't necessarily a. There oh, it is. Riverfolk. Yeah, that would have been my second, like, Riverfolk. top pick. Oh, I'm not saying the duchy improves the draft. I'm just saying it's... Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, so here's my wonderful hand for you all to see. Oh, that looks like a great duchy hand, honestly. Uh, we got two bakes at, two, two Two coins, coins is good for, um, good for river folk. Let's get rid of both of those. <laughs> <laughs> Play a nice game here. And then four others here. I'm shocked. I could have seen it go in the bunny in the mouse. Oh wait, no. Well, never mind. No, I'm not sure. No, never mind. No, I could have seen you go in the mouse clearing. I'm standing by that. And then uh... because then you have access to two bunny clearings, the north and south of you, in case no one sets up there. That's fair. That's fair. Because the river clearing is always going to be easy to get to. So I'm like, how do I get to the non-easy clearing? <laughs> Never Nofer knows what they have. Oh no, hand card down to two. I thought it was. I thought it was taking at four for a second. Who river boats at one? That's a deal, especially on winter. Three warriors pay the payment box. That is, but they're also going last, so you know. I think that was. It's true. It's not going to obstruct protectionism. That's true. And the VP track, of course. All right. Yeah. All right. Now, Dutchie. I think I'm gonna take the thief. Ooh. Oh, I need to grab the card. Okay. And where is my pawn? Uh. Coins vary points. Yes. I don't see my. Oh, it's in here. Are we are we in order here? No. No. Oh, there it is. It's in the bag. Okay. I will mess that up all game, I think. So we we'll start here. The ruins aren't. I assume they set up after we start. Um, yes, they're in they the do. south side, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, they'll be here, 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 and then okay. they'll set up once we. Uh, well, it's gonna be hard to see that back and bond on the white map. <laughs> Give it a green outline. Make it radioactive. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, quests? Yeah, I'm not picking that after up. this one. Let's oh. see. Who's picking oh my DJ. gosh. Matecore, thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. Wow. Holy shoot. Wow. Thank you. That's insane. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Look at him. Now he's a little gray. <laughs> he's a dirty backup. <laughs> We always knew he was dirty. Oh gosh, Cosmic, that'd be awful. We do match. Garrick bought me the shirt, so I figured I should wear it. Also, I needed lizards. <laughs> Although they come out very gray on the screen. Yeah, they don't look, I should say, they don't look like this in real life. This is a bright, vibrant, green, green yellow. Green, green, yellow, yeah. Yay for green screens. 
Aw, thank you, Matecore. So now it's got to be Dutchy, right? You know what? I'm I'm going for Dutchy nachos in this game. I am Otter, or Otter, or Vagabond done. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's all right. Sorry. I think I said I was done. My bad. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Good. We're going to go with the underground Dutchy. There it is. No. <laughs> Second seat. All right, where's my setup card? Second seat, Dutchy. Terrifying. To be fair, any seat Dutchy, terrifying. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> they also get their pick of clearings, basically. Yeah, there, I mean, there wasn't much to. There's not really. This map does not feel like it's going to be crowded, no matter really what you right, do. Right, right. Like, even if cats had been chosen, like, that's three clearings, but still not. But it would have restricted moles a little bit, at least. A little bit. Yeah, because it can't be adjacent to the enemy homeland either, so cats could have tried to pick some of the best clearings and kept, yes. kept moles away. The best clearings on winter map. Well, like, this, this, <laughs> this is obviously the best clearings for moles. It's, oh, absolutely. You know, those are, those are dynamite up there. All right, I think that's all for the duchy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, I'll go cats. Okay, no double VB today. Set this camera angle when we're busy. What was our unchosen BB? Was it again a scoundrel? A ranger. Ranger. All right. No, you should drag the cats over. Okay. But I can help you. You can, well, you can uh, grab yeah, a bunch of cats at once if you want. Um, actually, numpad one will drop a cat wherever your mouse is. So we can go boom, boom. Oh, nice. Right? I'm not crazy. It's Ranger. It's Ranger. Yeah, so you're not crazy. I mean, you are crazy, but not for that reason. Uh, just wherever your keep goes, or your homeland. Okay. Ah, yes. Who was wondering if that had been set up or not? And it hasn't. <laughs> I was pointing at the VB quest deck. I realized I just, like, pointed off screen. <laughs> I doubt we're questing this, uh, this time, but hey, maybe we might. Maybe, maybe. But Katara, you could have like three T's. That's so exciting. I think if the starting card is T, I'd prefer to take Ranger over Thief. That's fair. That's fair. I guess it's just can you guarantee on getting that hammer fast enough? Or someone else not picking the other Vagabond and them taking it from uh, you. True. That's me. Scroll wheel's been weird. Yeah. Alright, you can go ahead and return two cards to the deck and then hit start game. Any opinions on my hand, guys? This is totes not a bribe. Rehab, thank you so much for the gift sub. <laughs> keeping both the coins to make it more chaos. Yeah, that's always fun. I don't assume Kelly's in false orders and scared of dominance because no one really seems to care about dominance too much here. No one cares enough to buy them. Not to buy them. Moles, maybe, well, moles, maybe, because moles like dom swapping, but. Moles would probably prefer to have the other cards, though. Yeah. Agreed. It's one of those things where, like, in principle, it might be true, but in, in this context, not so much. Yeah. I will say, though, that was a killer lizard's hand. <clears throat> It was a killer lizard's hand. <laughs> all right. Uh, am I starting it? If we're all yeah, set I up, think anybody so. I think can click start game, right? Yeah, go ahead and hit start game if everyone's discard. Okay. Let's go. Was the deck shuffled? Right. Was it shuffled? Right. I don't know. Start by placing a wood. Real quick, could somebody make sure to shuffle the deck? I already shuffled. Oh, we can do it again. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I'm taking that. My nerves. I can't control them. Can yeah. put out your quests, by the way. Oh. Oh, yes. I want to see the Vagabond quests. Vagabond quests. 
Oh, you drive nice. a hard bargain. Cats in seat one and on winter map. I do think they have a decent chance, Waterman. Wait, do we get four quests? No, that's the other spot's okay. the deck. Uh, that okay. goes. Okay. Not yeah. a bad shuffle of quests. Two of them needing torch, not great. Yeah, the but two mouse, also not bad. All right. Um... We'll see. I'm going to, uh, okay, plus wood, I will. So Kat's, um. Not buying, it sounds like. Declining the offer to buy. Build a sawmill. For a point. I'm going to. Lily, thank you for the bits. <laughs> It's just real fun. So yeah, this is a relatively low aggro matchup, which is great for moles. Mm -hmm. I mean, I work. build overwork, probably build again. The real question is because of the low aggro on the table. Oh, oh. Ooh. Uh, well, that's a problem because there's a ruin there. Two points. Uh. Buy those coins. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have one left, so. Oh, they did, and they did buy the coins. Uh, oh, this is a problem. And that's me. I will draw. Well. We're this off, is your fault. We're off to a great start. This is this is one hundred percent your fault. Why is it my fault? I don't know, but it's your fault. Hit the next turn or past turn, I think. Oh, um, sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Place one mole in the burrow. Go to daylight. I will. <laughs> Beckett, thank you for the five bits. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it already. Hey, let's do it. I kind of agree with Cosmic. You think that warrants stepping? Yeah, a little bit. Because this was part of the setup, they put it on the ruins before setup, and so the ruins popped in underneath it. Turn one build. This is a this is a mod, mod error. Yeah, but it's if you're not familiar with the mod, you're not looking out for it. I've seen it happen a lot of times with the, us who play it. <laughs> Choose some violence. Like like Joe just said, he did it himself. Sway ministers, then I can reveal cards to sway a minister. There's a mouse uh... and a fox. All right, I'll step in because it's the mod. Otherwise, I wouldn't say anything. Hey, real quick, everyone. Uh, there's a bit of a snafu that I am stepping in for because it's the mod's fault. Uh, clearing nine, there's a ruin there underneath the starting workshop, which would screw up the building location. Oh, I didn't know. Yep. Oh, snap. Snap. Yeah, I'm sorry. I uh, We were debating whether to step in. My bad. I didn't even see that. Um... Okay. To be fair to you, it wasn't there. <laughs> it, oh. it it loaded in after you set up. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I should should probably cut on to that. Um, okay. Can I, Let's, yeah, how I'll, do you guys want it? I'll pass. <laughs> we just pass turn back to you and we restart? <laughs> yeah, we can. If everyone's okay rolling it back, we can roll it back to the best of our ability and uh, just fix it from there. Well, you have two workshops there. Is there another place you could have built a workshop? Um, he, wanted, he wanted it in the rabbit clearing for the. Oh, yeah, I, 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 know, I know. I'll probably yeah. take that back. Oh, because you bought probably the coins. Right. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you want to pay, take back the whole turn then? I guess. Um. Uh. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably. All right. Let's just roll things back all the way. Give Otters the coins back. Uh, put back any card you drew. Take back your overwork, all that. Fresh redo. Sorry about that. And the coins. All right, little little messy, but that's okay. Growing pains with the new mod. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, I'll add that to my list of. Um... Yeah, no. We said it before, and it just. Hard back draw to you and reshuffle or if we just the winter map is especially hard to see the ruin are 
I mean, I, I feel like I should still be getting that card. So yeah, I can assume. He, well, he knows he's getting it. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe we should just, just reshuffle. Yeah. That's my bad. I didn't see them. Oh no no no! Right. <laughs> yeah. and, and sure Are we all good? Yeah, I think we're we're back at square one. Okay. Um, and I mean, the first weekend's always going to be a little painful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I will. We'll build a sawmill still. For a point. I'm surprised the otters weren't advocating. You can just build it in clearing one. Yeah. Advocate for. Yeah. But I'm also a jerk. <laughs> then I will. Yeah, I'll overwork. And build. Oh wait, yeah. Build a. Yeah, chaos noodle. That was that was my thinking. That's why I wasn't like immediately jumping in. That's because I do think it's on the players to know where the ruins are. Because uh, that could have happened just as easily if the ruins were already there, just popping a building on top oh, of it. Oh yeah, you know, uh, absolutely. I think it's just because it spawned in afterwards. I felt a little bit more hesitant about it. Yeah, it. And there's a vagmon in the game. It's like a combination of things. But since uh, I wouldn't have been happy stepping in or not stepping in, it's just yeah, yeah. He's unhappy either way, so it's yeah. fine. <laughs> no one else. So I'm... Yeah, I feel like I if you if you would like to buy, then you could do it. I'd say credit card if would it's be a... nice. I also don't like buying from Otter's turn one. Joe, it's hard because the map actually has listed ruin spots. It's not just like put it in this clearing or that clearing. It if you look at the map, it says. There's ruin an R on it. On the specific spots. But white writing on this lovely white map, not exactly the easiest thing to see. Right. Winter map in particular, people miss the ruin spots. All right. So we got our double Salmo still and a double recruiter. Nickel asking if the second Vagabond card is removed until the first is drafted. No. They are both equally valid options in the flop. Yeah, we're still going to go uh, same two cards to sway the formal. I should mention that in normal ad set, um, I think was one of those the last uh, Insurgent Faction drafted? Because if in normal ad set, you would lock the last, you know, Insurgent Faction. Mm -mm. If the last faction drafted is an Insurgent Faction, it is locked. Yeah, I can't pass If it. it's not Insurgent, then it's not locked. Yes, that's as I was saying. If, if it was the last Insurgent Faction, oh, yeah, there's a... It's not important. <laughs> it's not relevant here. <laughs> it just know that it refers. The answer might change depending on official ad set versus tournament ad set. That's all I'm trying to get at. Yes. In here. Um, and for stats, just for clarification, um, the vagabond picked first will always be the first vagabond. Yeah. Wait, really? Yep. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, That's how right. I always do it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, gosh. We are at I'm behind. House, so I am going to use that hammer. Okay, we got a hammer from the ruin. Sorry, I'm I'm all catching up. Moles we got went, a hammer, and we have the T. Moles, oh, yes. Moles, Moles went four mole, notably, instead of Brigadier. Uh, oh, and wow. chat was pointing out that moles have coins and master engravers. And then Vagabond got the hammer, crafted a second T. Um, Thank you for paying attention. We got distracted. Yes. Uh, With nuance. Yeah. <laughs> Cosmicant, I don't disagree with you. I think I'm going to move here. Yeah, I think this is probably to dissect the moles play a little bit. This is probably a smart recognition of the low policing capability of the table. And moles are probably going to go swole right out of the gate and just race as hard as they can. Oh, yeah. And I mean, being in a double mouse clearing and a double bunny clearing, it's a great start. Right. Exactly, Lean Potato. It, the one person who's most likely to police is otters if the table props up otters. But it's so far away from the river, it's the worst place for otters to have to go do that 
And Otters got no buys first turn, but Otters also have a very good capability to race with these in this hand. And they just drew the anvil. Mm-hmm. So what do I do now? Oh. Maybe there's an argument to propping up the Vagabond in order to have the Vagabond police moles. Oh, I have a very heavy much. Vagabond. <laughs> And I mean, I'm just hanging out. out. But that's a bit of a difficult thing to do because you specifically need swords. Yeah. Right. I think every turn to smack the Vagabond, but I would need some payments to do that, I think. Oh. Already pinning the table against the Vagabond to start. Fascinating. Yeah, it doesn't buy from you. I'm probably buying from you this round. Yeah, okay. Because I was thinking about uh, upping my prices on the hand cards. How much are you ready to to pay? Um, they had three funds to start. I'm trying to figure out where that last one went. I also don't know where that. I could spare one. Did they spend... he spent it to draw a card. No, I mean, I know I could certainly pay two. I don't know about three. Because that's where the 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 anvil came from is drawing a card. Yeah, that was that was what I was. Nine hammer to the vagabond. And just yeah. lock in my hand all game. Katari, I think it just having two T's yeah. is nice because it opens you up for potential T quests. Yeah. But I... Uh, but I can just... But Katari, I don't disagree. I think Ranger with a T to start is a very strong alternative to a 2T uh, thief, you know? Agreed. That, that That's a strong position to, to start out in. But again, if you didn't get the, the hammer right away... <laughs> It would have been a lot slower. Peepo, we are not using Quest Refresher for this tournament. Uh, it's always on the table for a future year. I just, I find that it's hard for new players to remember to do, which is problematic in tournament setting. Uh, and my testing hasn't, like, conclusively shown that Why it does what I wanted to them? do for quests. Why am I spending my... <laughs> he noticed, he noticed. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. The meeples I used to draw cards because Yeah, Brett Lowy, I think I think alternatives like that that are maybe a little less problematic for memory are good things to explore. I, I would love to see the quest deck redesigned top to bottom, per uh, personally. But um, I, I think we can all agree that quests could use something. One thing I am doing is I'm actually tracking quests round by round this tournament just to see very much this. if we can see any trends there as well yeah yeah no points for me all right no points for otters first turn all right. yeah cosmic theory used that deck on my recommendation uh because i'd done a lot of testing with that in anticipation for maybe using it here um, but i wanted some some more tournament you know practical examples before i made any sort of leap on it I'm so i'm to... that's another thing i have my eye on was that the one you showed me yeah I'm going to uh, I'll craft the boot. That's boot. For one. Getting quite a few crafts. I'm then going to do... It's good to counter both otters and moles. You True. know, because yeah. moles are going to want to craft for points. And otters, of course, need to craft for points. And... Oh, Peepo, it's not about consistency. It's about viability. You know, quests are currently and uh, here. I would say check out my quest deck breakdown on MayCraftGame.com because I'm a shameless person. <laughs> and you can see the amount of items needed for quests are very imbalanced. Yeah. Hey, I love this life. You gotta have no shame. <laughs> Okay, so Cat's taking natural advantage of the of the vacuum uh, on this map, the vacuum of power to just fill up the bottom at the moment. I mean, if Otters and or VB don't go hostile against Cats, you know, from the outset, this uh, this could end up really good for cats if cats are There's, allowed to just build yeah, everywhere there is a lot of real estate they are very much able to take advantage of here i draw two
I'm getting the two draw, already getting that card draw up. Cats are going to have a good engine going if yeah. they're left alone. Although, they might not be completely left alone because they want that real estate to open back up again sometimes. I mean, with this much open space, they may not need that. That's certainly the conventional wisdom. That's fair. That's fair. All right, yeah. We're just heading straight to the map. Agreed, Cosmic. How, how soon... Thief finds that sword is going to have a monumental impact on the trajectory of this game. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, crafting it if someone crafts it. Or crafting it, yeah. We do know that otters are setting up to craft the tea, or tea, the hammer. So even the, the vagabonds soon will have the option to craft themselves, you know? <clears throat> If you're wondering what they look like, it's right here. <laughs> I was already drinking out of it because I'm, again, shameless. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. What's, is that a I am not sponsored by Blender Bottle. I just like them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm in, I'm surprised to see we have citadels over markets. Yes, that's actually a really interesting choice uh, because the traditional logic is, of course, that markets are the better choice. Markets get you their return immediately as opposed to the start of next turn. Yep. Uh, they fuel further crafting or swaying or bankering. What's up? Sorry, I saw where the Mars comment. I can't <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> um, uh, and generally, you can you know, use actions to recruit, but you can't mm -hmm. use actions to draw because yeah. you have daylight actions that recruit, but not for draw. Uh, so conventional wisdom is that market is the better building. But if we, if we plan on going for four buildings, then getting these citadels out now, getting those recruits up immediately, and then using them to defend two clearings as opposed to one. That's definitely a good point. And I mean... I think the secondary clearing is that bunny clearing, so yeah, prepping to kind there. of transfer over when yeah, isn't necessarily a negative. Etsy, is your mic working? I'm so sorry. I've been muted my entire turn. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So for formal, it does not have to match the clearing suit. Mm -hmm. For the regular daylight build action, it has to match the clearing suit. But yeah, for formal, yeah, it does that, not. Yeah, then I, I'm with you there. My mistake there. I mute between turns because I've got a toddler running around. <laughs> yeah. and I sometimes forget to unmute. All right. So I got the joys of a toddler. Da, 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 da. I wouldn't know. And then I will draw one card. I'm really interested to see where moles go from here. The hammer. Mm -hmm. not too. Can't buy for four. I, even buying yeah. a three was going to be a, a a reach for me. Yeah. Um, I have a quick question. That is indeed a martial sway. In the forest? Uh, I forest. don't think so. I don't think I need a clearing. Oh, from a player in your clearing. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I didn't hear the question. Okay. Uh, I refresh. Uh, Something about in the forest. You cannot aid from the forest. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna buy <laughs> yeah, actually, so we didn't comment on that. The martial sway is interesting. Start a bird song. I'm assuming it's just. Three, uh, I'm assuming it's clearing limitations. Yeah. I'm assuming it's clearing limitations, or um, I'm assuming it's card limitations because yeah. we use two cards to build, and we just drew one of these. That's a good point. That's a so good point. I'm assuming it was just the the limitation of having only four cards at the turn. I don't think I can get to you. Four cards. You could get me a boot. I've got a boot if you want it. Where are you I'll at? Take a card. Uh, I'm right next to you, man. Oh, that's We're, right. Okay. We're hanging I'm out. Going to Torch, and, uh, okay. I'm gonna... Good, you could take that rune while you're I'm here. Gonna skip, I'm gonna <laughs> skip this slip, and I'll just stay here, and I'll take the rune as a boot. Cats are very happy. Cats craft those coins. Cats are happy. Oh, no, one point, and then, um, I am going to eight. We did get a sword. Oh, we had a sword. Uh, with the sword. Oh, yes, it's an aiding sword. Um, Friendly stabs. For you. Yeah. <laughs> for another point, and uh, we've made out, Thank so you. we've gotten the first base. And then I'm going to um, craft, right uh, swap me. Ooh, that's a dangerous card. 
Um, so that is a total of- With otters? That's a dangerous card to otters. With otters and with moles in the game? Mm-hmm. That's a good craft. Very good craft. One aid. That is a great question, Dan's. Would I prefer one building and a noble or two buildings and a squire? That's a really great, great question. Um, I'm going to preface it within this situation specifically. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this is a pretty specific context we're discussing. Cosmic can't, yes. My last two boots, you heard correctly. And it was clean. Where are we moving to? Can I see the main map, yeah, please? Yeah, yeah. I think both are pretty valid, Dan's. I think you could really go either way. Right here. That you could have used if you wanted to. Oh, then I got no, 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 that's okay. The nice thing about going for the two buildings is that second citadel is so much better than the first. It's true. So much better. But Bridget to Marshall. If you don't need to move in battle, though. What I'm thinking about doing is not good. Not good for me. I mean, my... I hear you. I don't like you, but I hear you. So feel free to buy everything from me for two high prices because or else I will be stuck at like five points by the end of this game. Yeah. But fuck it. You just have uh, the dream hand. It's just priced a little too heavy. <laughs> it's a better hand I to see. have halfway into the game rather than turn two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, using export is stupid, but I feel like it's fun to do it. So I guess I will. <laughs> I will first. Alternatively, Pat, Pat, it's worse because you can't use the Marshall. Oh, we just swayed Marshall. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. The hammer card. All right. So we are. So the hammer card is gone. Oh, we're exporting. I don't know what that means. You don't know what that means? No. Guys, I'm doing it all in the wrong order. I should have gotten two more uh, in payments since now. What is export? Can someone explain to me what export it... is? It means that you craft, an eye, craft a card, and instead of getting the effects of the card, in this case, the points and the hammer, he's just adding a new order to his payments. Oh, so okay. I, I, made, I made everything in the wrong order. So I had three funds and then two more from payments. So five. Used two to create a trade post and one to export and then I have two left. Where is this on this faction board? Where am I? Who am, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> it's Please tell me more. In Under craft, it's that whole second sentence. Rather than gaining the listed effect of crafting the card, you may discard the card to place a warrior in the payments box. What should I do now? I have literally never seen it. It is... So this is an interesting gambit because you actually have seen it. Uh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> You can't tell me what I haven't haven't seen, sir. Because uh, Emu's done it. Um, it doesn't mean I saw it. I'm pretty sure you were there. Uh, so the thing about exporting is it is bad. 99.9% .9 of the time. I think I will take my hand cards down to two. And I think 99.9% of the time because it's putting the otter in payments, which means that it's shutting off protectionism. Mm -hmm. Just flat out. You know, protectionism only works if your payments box is empty. So you are committing an otter, getting rid of a card to put one in payments and shut down protectionism. Now that's profit if somebody still buys from you in the round, you know? Yeah. But the table has all the incentive in the world to not buy. I should have gotten two points also from the trade post. Uh, <laughs> there they are. I just, I'm, I'm very curious because the hammer well, seems like a good craft to not put back into the, to, into the shuffle, but. Well, the idea was that if it, as long as it's in Otter's hand, it's vulnerable to, Purchase to, to Thief getting meat. it. Yeah. So by exporting it, you're getting it out of this deck cycle yeah. for Thief. Going to build. But you're putting it back into the next deck cycle for moles. Sure, sure. So I don't know. I'm just. It makes me concerned. Yeah, I mean, you're putting it back in the next deck cycle for moles, or for you, or for Vagabond directly, you know? That's true. 
And it's, maybe, just maybe cats. This is cool because it ended up being profit. You know, mm. we got our payment of two and we got one of our own. And this this is the type of game state where we do need to see those types of cooperation to deal with moles, you know? Mm -hmm. We are feeding cats, though. It's true. Because Vagabond opened up that, that second clearing so cats could get their second workshop there. And now cats bought the coins. This is... This is a very weird game, just yes. inherently from the faction mix. Yes. So these these unique plays are kind of natural in a in a weird game like this, and they're only going to make it weirder. You know. That's true. Where this is kind of like the uncharted territory of Root is dealing with these weird faction mixes, doing weird things. All right. Protecting our buildings. It looks like we have two per building, except for in our um, homeland. homeland? Uh, no. Keep. No, Keep has two sawmills. No, two per building. Two warriors per building. Uh, oh. For defense. I see, I see. I, I said that poorly. I'm going to spend a blue card to overwork. Okay. And because we built, we recruited, and we marched. Me. And now we've overworked. I draw two. Not using the wood though after yeah, overworking, which I one. find fascinating. Well, I mean, no one's gonna threaten it, so I guess it's fine. Yeah, if it's safe, then you're just increasing your your sawmill tempo. You That's know. True. I would like to see some more sawmills on the board from cats. This, I mean, this is the this is how we're offsetting that. We have only two sawmills, so we're overworking, overworking to, to make up to, for to it. Make up. That makes Which sense. Which I, I like in isolation. I don't need any cards, but I also don't In isolation, you say. <laughs> They're already uh, off to a good start. Yeah. I won't buy it. I won't buy it. <laughs> Likely story. <laughs> I won't buy it next turn. <laughs> Another card isn't bad, right? I mean, I'll just be discarding a card, next one more card for my hand in my turn if I had to buy. Um, you, or you could use it to place a tunnel and attack them. Actually, I think I got an idea with that. Okay, we will feel really bad buying. We are going to buy the coins. I had a feeling that that was coming. Coins. Yep. Cats have six points. Good turn for the otters with that export. It definitely paid off. Yeah, it really did. It really did. Um, then I'll go place my four moles in my burrow. Oh no. The moles have been upgraded to four moles. <laughs> the duchy must have discovered the power of coffee. Now every warrior is a four mole. <laughs> digging with that okay doing a dig yeah cosmic good table talk on otter's part to set up that export uh purchase cycle you know talking making the deal with cats for the purchase and then talking uh moles into the purchase i am quite surprised to see the dig down to eight this is a very aggressive uh this is a bit more aggressive than i was anticipating is the, is the idea to go tall into mouse Either that or we're going into nine to prevent the coins build. Just deny wood passage. Oh, deny wood passage. First. I, I figured that was the other part of it, is we're cutting off three building slots, potentially four after Vagabond opens this up. A second action in daylight's going to be a... Are you sure? I mean, he can just move. On yeah, but of course he's use an action instead That's of just build, build. Yeah, I mean, taxing actions is good. Yep. Build, build this way, but... The thing is, it costs you an action and a card. I don't know how much that's worth it. Yeah. You're trading one action and a card for one action on the other player's part. Granted, moles have a better action economy. They do. Oh, well. We will... I think that's a fuzzy... A fuzzy... Uh, calculation. Mm -hmm. I do not make these calculations. I just go with my gut and see what it feels, what it feels like. Uh, revealed... 
cards. We're going to marshal one mole down here. Okay, yeah, so we're not... We're not getting more buildings. Well, not necessarily not more buildings, but we're not getting two buildings one this mold. turn. We're not getting any, it seems like. I'm going to reveal some cards. Yeah, okay, so this, this seems like point shading. And also just like conservative uh, expansion. Like you don't necessarily want to burst, you know, flop out we all your buildings. We have two coins cards in our hand. Stick with Brig. I think we'll do Brig. I need to get some actions going. I have a feeling we did an, a snowball over a lord. Uh, just to not show the two coins. Hey, Aegis Clarion. Welcome. Hi. Uh, Otis, yes. These are... Official Leader Games shirts, you can find them on the Leader Games web store. There is also an underground equivalent, which you will see on a future stream. Probably, yeah. Well, I didn't buy the shirt to not wear it. Birds revealed the rest of my hand. I will That's a good point. <laughs> ah, that's why we went with mouse. Uh, we'll wear that shirt again at some point, Pat. I've got like a whole wardrobe of root shirts to wear for the tournament now, so I don't just have the one shirt the entire time. <laughs> um. But yeah, solid turn for moles, getting Master Engravers out. That's sort of what I expected with the double mouse. Uh, I'm gonna explore. Yep, I'll skip, or refresh. Skip slip, I'll explore again. Go to... There's the sword. All right, that thief is armed. More. And then yeah. I am going to... Also over bag limit. True. Somebody crafted a... No, somebody crafted a boot. That's right. Here. Don't forget your point. Oh, the point. Thank the... you very much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the explore. Oh, yeah. And we didn't swap me, did we? Uh, I am going to quest... Oh, I forgot my spot. Damn it. Uh, I'm going to quest uh, this one. I will take two cards. Maybe think we can fish for that bag. Yeah. Well, we can't move anymore. But we're in a mass clearing. So yeah, okay. we're in a mass clearing. So if we if we drew a bag, we can craft it now. Um, Otherwise. If not, you get good uh, use out of those boots before throwing one away. Damn it. Well, there's a wabbit. Okay. okay. That gif is making me want to um, dance. Not sure why. <laughs> well, I can't do it. I can't do it anyway. So I don't think we drew the bag. I don't think so either. Hey, Otis, thank you for the 13 months. I really appreciate that. Seems like we're a little bit of lost what to do. We could aid the duchy because we haven't been with them before. This is our first chance to be with the duchy. True. Yeah. Right. I'll take a card. And that's my turn. All right. Nope, we're just going to end it there. there. Uh, we didn't drop any items, though, did we? We did not. Oh, do my... I, I'm over stuff. Yes, we did. Three, six. I gotta get rid oh, of this yep. thing. I'll discard something. Uh, Theory, the VB's quests are up here. We currently have... Oh, man, if we can oh, get it... the one I found. Uh. <laughs> currently have these. Oh, the one you found is still in there. <laughs> you oh, can't fully the cats. <laughs> uh, one Wendigo. Wendigo. Has there been any mistakes or missed points up until now? Uh, a little bit of a snafu on Cat's turn one. But that got rectified, so... It, we went in and rectified it, but it was a little messy. There are some good quips for you. But otherwise, I don't think we've yeah. missed anything. Mm -hmm. Otters have been a little messy as well, spending and then realizing they spent instead of committing and taking it back and stuff. But again, still all rectified. Yeah, more more sloppy than mistakes at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's so hard when you get excited. It you is. You want to keep going and going and going, and then you, you know. Hey, hey everybody. Yeah. You will all race and be at 20 points in two rounds, and I will be stuck here. <laughs> anyway, I will do my turn. 
correct this time from the start, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, protectionism, no. No protectionism. Score dividends. Yeah, I get one point from dividends, I think. One point from dividends. There is a trade post on the map. And I'm I... sorry, guys. I keep doing the wrong direction. Post are on the map. Score one per... Uh, yeah. Oh, you left two funds in there. Okay. Yeah. One point. Got me some dividends. Then I'm will also something I'm not used to seeing. Here. Dividends and exporting. Oh, cosmic, yeah. So I mean, even if I, I would be last. It happens. It has been a. Fun. I like seeing the dividend here. Yeah. Both because um, I think dividends are a little underutilized in general. People talk about it. I still don't see it that often. Uh, but also, this is the type of game where you're going to need that that extra help because. Yeah. I mean, you have crafting competition. Yep. And there's not going to be a lot of cardboard to eat. Yep. I will say, um, yeah, I mean, I'm thoroughly appreciating like the export and dividends in one game already. <laughs> yes. Just, what is happening? Or yeah. eight funds, got it. Yeah. 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 You could just keep adding okay. one more. Okay, oh, guys. For sure. Uh, oh, what are we doing for the giggles? Can't you let me do this? It would, it would be so, so nice. Come on. I will be back in the game. I can do stuff next turn. Just don't bother me. <laughs> You're definitely not out of the game. I just feel like two other fa- I love the don't bother me logic. Honestly, who's, who's going to bother them? Who's going to go through the effort of stopping dividends right now? I wouldn't. Going on. I mean, let's be fair. The cards in hand, not exactly the juiciest. Yeah. We're not going to get any purchases. So, like. I mean, um, and turn, no one's really going to gonna care to do much about it. I'm not either. I don't. It, two people just said they're not going to attack otters. Who's? I don't know who's left, but I feel like everyone else has Three, better things to do. And also not have to spend anything if you're planning on recruiting. Yeah. Or lose anything if you're planning on attacking. I mean, it, it, is, it is stupid, but I think <laughs> perhaps I have to do something like that. Yes. It's definitely a different strategy. It's not one we see every day. I don't think it's stupid. I, I think it's smart to recognize this opportunity. To gain points without having to do much. Yeah, I mean... Use other economies. So I, I have to think about this a bit. Yeah, I think it's perfectly valid to stop and think about this, and I think it's perfectly valid to do it. Agreed. And, like, yeah, and as you were saying earlier, this is definitely a game where those extra points for, for otters are definitely lacking. Yeah. And so this is a very reasonable place to get them early on, so you don't have to rely on it later when everyone's going to be like, how do I hit them? Right. And when you have more trade posts Exactly, out. exactly. Yeah, I think that's also valid too, Katare. Yeah. Like, just soften the, the number of points you're getting a little bit so that you're less. it's less heat. I mean, if you get draws too, you might get more purchases. You might. Yeah. Anybody's gonna attack you. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend my whole turn trying to burn through your. Yeah. Or... But we do have the table does seem to be in agreement that there's no point to for four points to yeah, stop I'm that. Getting more points from myself too, but you're also going to be getting a lot more points and also keeping your momentum going forward with all of your uh, warriors. So. Yeah, I will keep my funds, and I. You're not gonna think be losing anything, them. and I don't think anyone's going to attack you. And I feel like I should be doing... Now, will we get a backstab? But I... Maybe. At the same time... I mean, for any of us to hit you through your five warriors... Is... I mean, I do feel like otters, typically, yeah. since the Marauder meta has, has emerged, have been doing... Funds. I mean, that, that'll hurt more, lot, but it ...have been having a more of a struggle. Yes. I mean, I could um, if I trigger in for me, but I, I think it's a little early right now for me to do that. Yeah. And Vagabond wants that bag. Yeah. I, I will do nothing. I will uh, I will keep it as it is. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. So I end my turn. This is so interesting. I love it. it this is really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I adore this. Or perhaps, sorry, sorry. Can I just keep my mercenaries at four? I have ended my turn, but it's the last thing I do. And you haven't. Is it all right with you? Yeah, it's fine.
Cosmic, part of the hard part... They have to get there. Well, <laughs> moles have to get there and still have battle actions. Because moles... Uh, do they have Bridget now? I don't they do know. have Bridget They do have now. Bridget now? Okay. But in addition, yes. moles went in here and disrupted Cat's rule network, you know? Mm -hmm. So Cat's already have this to deal with that moles caused. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of animosity getting in the way of that type of alliance. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Hey, sorry. No worries. All right. Um, my turn? Yes. Yeah. Go for All it. right. So you have four wood on the board. Two wood. Um, yeah. I'm never a fan of stacking wood that way, but I get it. It definitely keeps it less cluttered, but I will then announce to make it easier for myself. <laughs> okay, so doing a march, which makes sense. March one. Is crafting an action for the cats? No, okay. but you'll do it at the March two. effectively start of daylight. So we're just choosing not to craft those coins. And I'm going to... Yeah, evidently. That's, 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 that's really all I wanted to establish. Sawmill. All right, getting our third sawmill out, which is yep. good. I had a feeling a sawmill was coming in 12. I, I had a feeling that's where we wanted to go. <laughs> Beckett, you're not wrong. <laughs> And um, hmm. so we have two actions left. Mm -hmm. One wood left or two wood left? One wood? We, have, we only have one action left. One action left? Oh, we, we marched. marched and then built. We marched. Right, right, right. And then we have... We have um, two, two, wood, two left. wood left. Yeah. So we could get another workshop. <laughs> uh, we could just recruit. We could just recruit. Uh, this is actually the top of round four. And I'll... Uh, I'm just going to overwork. Or that. Excuse me, I just sneezed. That's my turn. I'll draw two. Cats also shading their points a bit. Not crafting coins. I, I liked, well, yeah, well, that makes sense because they're ostensibly in the lead, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I do like seeing these overworks. It has been quite a peaceful game. And we only have two warriors left in the bag, so a recruit wouldn't have been like... It wouldn't be the most optimal thing. The most efficient. Yeah. Efficient, yeah. So I'm gonna go, uh, go swinging. I've only got three to put in my burrow. All right, Moles also out of warriors. That's the other issue with Citadels, is you can run out of warriors, but you can't really run out of cards, per That's se. True. It's possible to realize, but yeah. <laughs> or possible to run out. Of cards. This is such a peaceful game, though. We cats are almost out. Dutchie's almost out. Like otters, are the only one who haven't been doing things. But you know, they're just sitting and getting points, doing nothing. So that's not a negative. How many fox cards he has? He has five in his hand. Cards in his hand. So probably won't get through that. Yeah. And go hit those workshops before he crafts the coins. Yeah, he he hasn't crafted any net. Or and go to so, sawmill to slow his wood supply down a bit, which is more. Yeah, Dan's you with citadels. You hit that. You hit that warrior limit so quickly. If you take the like, workshops, like you... I will say if if moles are considering going on an offensive right now, then the citadels will help rebuild them. Yeah. very quickly though. And likewise, the thing about citadels is they are. The fact that they're to start your turn means that when you do get hit by other people, you get your warriors back and get to put them back out in position and stuff. So, mm -hmm. like, they're good defensively if they survive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, move. This is very interesting because because we didn't craft the coins, we definitely put a target on clearing nine. and uh, Big target. And the moles are taking it. 
Did we put out a third workshop? No. If we'd put out a third workshop, we would have had the two most profitable for their cost buildings yep. that we could rebuild. You know? One from Burrow is my first move. Second move, go from the Burrow to here. And then I'm going to go to my minister's marshal. I think if if we were cats and we were we were in we were baiting these to be destroyed, I would have liked to have built one more in like one uh, or something. One more workshop up in one or something. Or twelve. Caution was twelve, close. ten. Just you know, put out another workshop. Great. Would you like to fill the hospital here, kitty cat? Uh, uh... Uh, no, it's okay. Second Brigadier battle, same spot. All right, go for it. Leader, just some. Oh, this, is, this is determined to be a peaceful game, huh? This game is peaceful. The game has decreed it, and it will enforce it, damn it. All right, <laughs> just like of the United Nations, we could save the planet. <laughs> Something that that was my whole turn. Um, I'm gonna swap. <laughs> I don't have any more actions I can do. I can sway now. Uh, so now we're gonna reveal. Fox. So yeah. I burn my ambush on that man. Nope. Fox, fox, mouse, mouse, and we will sway the Earl of Stone. Freddy Knuckles, go watch the game from yesterday evening. That was a bloodbath. <laughs> um. Who was saying it before? Uh, Everything comes back. Kurosku, Kurosku. Uh, I agree that moles are like, you know, theoretically able to just outrace everyone here. At the same time, they're not setting up to race. You know, they're they're going for citadels and they're not, uh, and they're going on the offense. I would have thought we'd pivot to markets and start churning out crafts very soon. I would have thought so as well. If we were. If we were planning to, to race like that. We do have our first swap meet, and we're swap meeting cats, um, which is interesting. Okay, so I just flip these upside down, right? And then Yeah, and then shuffle them. Oh. You don't even have to take them out of your hand. Just flip them upside down. Oh. And um, and press heroic ball. logic. I think it's much funnier to, to congratulate the oh, failure. Okay. Uh, I, I'm coming around to the, the hilariousness of, like, congrats, you failed. <laughs> That's... Uh... I, oh, okay. That's the one. Yeah, I mean, you can pick two. If you can pick two. Uh, okay. Uh. Oh. It's a good card. It's making make you know making me think. Always questions. Um. Yeah, Trosco. I think I think what moles were trying to do was to deny cats the coins, coins craft yep. so that moles could craft both. Yeah. I think that was the intent. It's just the dice didn't agree. I'm just surprised with master engravers. I would always want that backline still working to make those buildings, so this way I can get those crafts in. I just I would have expected to see at least one market go down by now, so we could start getting the card drop, or at least one item or something. Well, I mean, getting a market helps us get items we don't have. Yeah, no, I understand. That, that's that. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. I'm gonna do the <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. No, and, killing saw mills sounds way more fun than questing. I'm going to take two cards. Or not saw mills workshops. And oh, why would he kill those? He wants my coins. That's true. We swung our swords at the bandits. Uh, no, we're we're buddies for now. Bag them on sand, peaceful. And going for the card draw again. It looks like. Yep. I'm going to craft a bag so I don't lose my stuff. We are not in the right clearing for that. We are. We moved over here. Yeah, and the bag is a mouse. Oh, bag is a mouse. You're right. You're right. I know what I'm talking about sometimes. Just sometimes. I don't. Um, then I am going to steal from the moles. I can get a card, please. <laughs> this is the card hungriest vagabond I have ever did see. Right. Cards. Cards me. Do you remember what round we did the first um, quest on? Was that two rounds ago? Uh, Sounds right. Or was it last turn? No, it was last turn because he was searching for the bag. Okay. Yeah. Um, then I'm just going to, I think, get to second base with the cats. 
Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. This is a very aid heavy, I mean, a card hungry and aid heavy vagabond. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, we, we've exchanged gifts. I, I held on to the boots you yeah. gave me. Okay. Know. It's almost nighttime, right. so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta grease you up a little bit. Again. <laughs> all right, um, I suppose. All right, so I'm gonna give you, <laughs> and I am going to give you. Uh, what are we in? We're in rabbit. We are in rabbit. Fine. Um, this should make up for that swap meet. Okay. And we'll see. So that uh, takes us to second base. I scored one point for the bag, two points for fueling up the cat. So oh, I already got my one for the bag, so I get two for eating. Yep. Two. Did I go up? I should be up one more, right? Yeah, I think you just... Oh, there we yeah. go. Okay. All right, I have five cards. Uh, I, think, I think that's going to be my turn. Uh, yeah, let me draw my one card, and um, I have to discard. Now the otters have a decision. Do we just keep sitting? I will discard. Because uh, I will legitimately be considering it. Yeah. And that is my turn. Playing the game is overrated. <laughs> Especially when you don't have to. I get four points just by sitting here. <laughs> it would be five now. Protectionism, so I get two otters, and then I score four points from dividends because I have a right. fun so one, My turn. Two. <laughs> <laughs> again. Yeah, about that. Um, <laughs> hey, you get four this turn, five next turn, six next. You'll you'll beat us all. Yeah, win, right? I honestly think that that is the only way I would keep up. But you're you're doing all right for yourself. <laughs> yeah, you're doing pretty good. Don't, don't, don't sell yourself short, all right? You know that you're you're odd. I mean, we we've made the two columns. I like it. Yeah, I am. But the Vega bond hasn't been hit, and yeah, no one's been hit. One cat has died, and that is literally yeah. Well, it. <laughs> That's pretty toxic of you, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, we were all playing a fun game here. Uh, hey, now I, I, now I feel I now I feel this, personally. This isn't a Euro. We're we're no. having a bit war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we? Are we really? Yeah, Does Cole approve of that today? Uh, so go. I, if you think you could get away with it, going for another dividends would be awesome. The question is Can you get away with can it? Can you get away with it? I think I also I'm going to hit the lone mole, who is... Uh, no, that's how you start a war. No ambush. No. 2-2. Two, two. We finally see some death. 1-1. One, one. And that was one commitment from me. And then... Oh, I'll make a move. With another commitment. All right, we are giving up on the dividend strat officially. And I will. Now I ruled it, so now I can make a trade post here. Okay. For two points. Oh, I'm in the lead. <laughs> Can't believe it. And I thought then, you were just out of the game a turn ago. Yeah. <laughs> yes, give me one more turn and I will be back outside the game. Uh. <laughs> uh, then I will hit. This Otters player is making me happy. <laughs> that dividends was very cool. It was. No, but I'm warning you, my defense rolls have been pretty good this game. <laughs> That you commit a mole fund to attack moles and a cat fund to attack cats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your former masters. Those are his 
try to do this then. Okay, you oh. can't do lucky all the time, I guess. All right, we're getting some some war in here. Now, will we have a protection protection uh, field, field hospitals? hospitals. And Evidently not. One more time with the best. Cut it out. All right. All right. One point. I mean, we had to assume that sawmill was yeah. was going to die, putting it way out in twelve. Mm -hmm. If we wanted it to live, we'd put it in like ten or something. <laughs> no, I think I will. But even ten can be dangerous along the river. Orders. Oh yes, craft tunnels. Craft tunnels. Craft tunnels. Oh ah! my goodness. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> the entire day. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is why you don't rapidly hit one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's public anyway, so it's not like there's no confusion on what cards you're yeah, 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 yeah. That was very so... fortunate for us. That would have been, uh... <laughs> so how can I do that in a... Oh, uh, well, oh. Right. My Thank you. Much too closely there. So I take just one. I do it safe this time. <laughs> oh, mouse dominance. Perfect. Hmm. Since I have been exporting and scoring dividends, should I also play the dominance? Exporting the dominance card isn't a crazy idea. But I would. But it does shut down protectionism. And draw another card. Someone oh, left again. Oh, jam again. My bad. Oh, second T. My Discord's being different. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, Kason, it's not ideal. Not ideal. Hmm. And I take. With the last fund, I also take. One more card. So that was everything. That most probably want the T, so I think I would put my services to at least three. No, I have to think about Just to point. be annoying. But they don't have the warriors to do it. Yeah, they don't have the warriors to buy anyway, but it's something you do want to craft. Cats now have enough to purchase if they want it. The T. Oh. Yeah, that makes more sense. You can't export. You would like to buy, but you have no dominance cards. Yeah. yeah. I'm a dummy. Did you say that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm sorry. You should have caught me, man. I was busy trying to fix the game audio. Yeah. I, I mean, like, I, I could get more. I am wrong. I don't, don't ever trust me. <laughs> I'm, like, I don't, I'm, just not, I'm just not buying until uh, I get my moles back either. So, yeah. even if I have warriors. I put it at three nonetheless, I think. By the way, how come you have like seven cards, cats, in your hand? Uh, I can bond aid. Ah, yeah, of course. My bad, my bad. Yeah, I gave him. Um, Aided forever. Uh, took our relationship to the next level. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, all about that. Yeah. <laughs> he blocked it out. I, yeah, I tried not to hear. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I end my turn. <laughs> all right, and back up to cats at the top of round five. Um, Okay. Uh, uh, considering. Okay. I'll uh, place my wood. Going to craft the coins. Ooh. Okay. So just taking advantage of that while we sell the buildings before the duchy goes and kills the workshops. Yep. We're going to... I'm going to march. Okay. Um, that march from three to seven is interesting because we don't have again, the um third action. 
We don't have clearing nine. Yeah, we don't have the supply lines. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to. Okay, we've gained the supply lines back. Not an eight. For a fourth action. You're right. I'm going to. I'm going to build. Question is, does the hit table catch it? A sawmill. Can you build there? Uh, I, oh, um, no, I can't. The table does catch it. I will build. So we could have marched one over from four to nine and left two and from two um left two and eight for that second march. We need to we need to move two over from four. We need to add two to nine in order to rule it. Gotcha. That would okay. be two because there's five moles. I see. Okay. So instead, we're building up in ten. Okay. Um. Then I'm going to spend another blue to uh, battle the Vagabond. Ooh, makes sense. Oh, here we are. Down here? Yeah. <laughs> Where? The only place Vagabond is. We're breaking up. <laughs> well, we're breaking up. <laughs> we're, we're gonna do this uh, right. <laughs> um, there was a chance they wouldn't have broken up. It could have been a zero zero. Yeah, I mean, this actually, this gets everything cats wanted out of out of the battle. So. Yes. Yeah, you can yeah. feel the hospital. And anytime Warriors are moved, you can feel the hospital. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and for field hospital, it's the clearing your uh, your in that you have to play the card for. Yeah. Two. One. Two one. All right. Uh, I will do. Yeah, and we are hostile. Yeah, that'll happen as soon as the ambush went down. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I think I will damage. The two booties. I don't blame the cats for not wanting to be allied. Yes. Okay. Um, that is always a terrifying thought. Then I'm going to... Uh, Pat, I don't know what a gamble is, so I've got no idea. <laughs> We're only at 14, chat. What are y'all getting excited about? This is a very peaceful game that is trying to turn violent and struggling to do so. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll I'll end my turn there. All right. Another conundrum here. Early in the game, I wanted to buy false orders. I chose the coins instead. And now otters have crafted that false orders. Yeah. I mean, I'm in last place. I don't think I'm the target for false orders, but I'm still a mole, so it's always a possibility. Uh, Can we purchase? We can't purchase anything either. I think all of our moles are still out on the board. Who would even hit? Who would even be able to do anything against that besides otters? All right, we'll start with my auto mole. My only mole left. <laughs> Daylight actions. Marshal Brigadier. Alright. Battle. <laughs> so it sounds like we're contemplating battling, which means we're probably going to kill those workshops. I should have gone for the mayor mm -hmm. last turn instead of a roll. Like, moles are poised to start exploding in points whenever they want to. They just have to to make that pivot. We do have Earl of Stone, so we are going to be doing some consistent scoring. All uh, right. No ambush. Is that a 3-0 or a 3-2? 3-2. 3-2. Cats only had one, so you should only lose one. You only lose one, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. He only had one cat. Thank it's you. only one cat, so. And two points. Hey. <laughs> Pat, I was just having trouble translating your native language. <laughs> okay. Well, now we have a 
a different bunny clearing that we could... I was just thinking, like... Do we want to set up next to the keep? I don't know, but it, we could. I mean, yeah, is there a world where we where we set up shop there just to disrupt Cat's game? Freaking daylight action is going to be... I so we can't spend any cards right. if we want to sway another noble. Yeah, I mean, it... Swing, swing, uh... I'm just saying two buildings would be a squire. Two buildings would be a squire. One building would be a noble. Any buildings means no lords. Yeah. Let's see, what's, how's he got? Just two items damaged. One hammer. I mean, you could use... I, I, mean, I damaged my boots. Battle right there. Wouldn't so be a not, bad idea. I'm not, I'm not very mobile right now. I, I, I did damage my boots. Well, it's more I have the action. I don't have enough actions to do what I want to do. Uh, uh, no. My ideally, I'd like to get up there and hit that sawmill, but I don't have enough actions to do that. Without... Welcome to the world of Earth. Says... I don't have enough actions. <laughs> and we're now hostile. He's not going to be able to do anything besides attack, maybe or or aid he'll, you. He'll probably slip clear. up here, search the ruin, and battle uh, you. Is a good uh, possibility that's really for true. him. Or he'll just he stop battling and keep going on quests. He, he does do have that, sword, yeah. boot, bag, both of which he could do. You know, that's never a bad uh, instinct. Hmm. I don't have enough actions to do the thing I want to do, so I might as well hit the Vagabond. You can use Brig to attack both the Trade Post and the, and the vagabond. vagabond. yeah. I just, I don't like leaving that sawmill, but I don't think there's a way for me to get it. And then their issue is... The odds are currently everyone's at 0% because, or 100% because the gambling isn't yeah. open. <laughs> they just move up there, battle, 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 battle. I will say, one of the nice things about this game is that uh, we will get a new winning faction because be far away from the previously winning factions aren't in this game. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly slow me down. Yes, it would, but I, I would tank my game, I think. So I think I will do my second daylight action is just a move. <laughs> okay. After this game, we'll have seen all keeper, all factions except the keepers in the in the draft, at least. That is true. I honestly thought we would see keepers before we saw second vagabond. <laughs> second daylight action could be. I could skip the battle and reinforce that clearing. Let's see, yep, I can still sway. So yeah, second daylight action still. Yeah, keepers have not been in a draft yet. Ministers, uh, marshal. Actually, well, doesn't matter. Brig, move. Move. And then marshal down here. Staying a bit on the defensive. Okay. Yep. Just retreating our attack force now that we've destroyed the workshops. Yep. And roll of stone will give me two points. And now we get to sway. We're going to get the mayor using prop bureau coins and coins. <laughs> uh, so I guess we're going for the mayor. Yeah. Which helps us build next turn. Yep. Yeah, mayor and formal is definitely a, um, a potent combo. Potent combo for sure. If you're going into building, I definitely want to. Combo those two together. No birds to discard, nothing to craft, uh, nothing to craft, yeah. And draw one. So yeah, Mold's really signaling that they are going to burst in the next turn or two. Um, going from last to second, almost first in the turn. I think I'm going to... And they haven't even, like, you know, burst yet. Done anything. Yeah. Really, yeah. Okay. They haven't even begun to peak. <laughs> this isn't even my final form. All right. Oh. Well, that makes this a little bit more difficult. Oh, no. Oh. Picked up the T. Picked up the T. Yeah, you got it. That is quite unfortunate. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, I had like three decisions and I got 50. Um, okay. I'll be short. <laughs> You can, you can have this one. Okay. 
Um, like the obvious answer is just to go into the keep and throw yourself against it repeatedly. That's, that's <laughs> what I was thinking eventually, but right now I'm a little worried about being the target. Um, you're that's starting to gain some steam. I don't know if that's the obvious answer. I would definitely be talking up yeah, the yeah, moles the at this obvious, point. But... Right, right. I, I, I have. I would. If I was in any seat except moles here, I'd be talking up moles as a threat. And even as moles, I would be admitting, yeah, I'm the threat. I know. You know, I wouldn't be like. You've still yeah, got you know three sawmills plus how many wood in here? Two wood? So you're going to have five wood next turn? I think yes. Cement bucks, I don't think the overworks went unpunished because we did kill those buildings. I mean, still or cats are cats. Or if I police cats, oh that goodness. gives otters and moles an advantage. You, see, you know what I'm saying? Taking down the third power gives bigger power to the two bigger, you know, the other two. And but I, I, could all, I could always hit the the cats. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't think it's really worth it for me. I mean, it was smart yeah. for cats to hit me to take away, like, you know, uh, me aiding. Didn't want to yeah. break up, but... Sorry, I, I, but I, I mean, was I think... joking when I said throw yourself against the key. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So when, I, when I mean when I say that I I can hit the cats, I also think that you could hit the moats because me, yeah, well, I definitely can. Um, and I I just don't know if it's the right time yet because he's not set up to to hit that massive burst right now, even though he is catching up. Um, he's kind of like a I, uh, Unless, I think he is. You think he is? I mean, he does have those coins still, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he has the four more. Clearing. Yeah, the four. But oh, he can build. He can build two times. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. In case you haven't noticed, I haven't drawn a, a bunny card yet this game. Yeah. <laughs> I've been revealing fox and mouse all game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why you mayor the formal. Yep. Because formal think, yeah. doesn't need a bunny card. Um. Yeah. No. Uh. No, I'm 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 open to to the table right now because I I have a few options. And, and I don't really think I should hit cats. Um, I, I, mean, I, I, I probably shouldn't, you know, help. But if I'm vagabond right now, I'm, I'm seeing two easy quests that are the same suit that you've already completed. Absolutely. So you could uh, potentially get five points there. I, yeah, I, you know, and I'm holding on to that because quest. I, I don't know what's gonna. A part of me is also thinking if I was in I, the vagabond position, really I'd be between the quests the, the, and picking off the I, single I, I moles. Know. As far that as far as are helping them sway and just yeah. have that freedom of sway. Yeah, I, I can I can definitely score some points right now. I don't know, just picking up that T kind of gave me Beckett. No, anyway, yeah, <laughs> I, I can't I can't tell you that. Yeah, I legit can't. It's what it looks like right now. Um, maybe I should. I mean, and, and I do want those coins. To be honest, well, you're not getting us. <laughs> no, 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 the ones that the cats crafted. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I've done my swap meets. Uh, Moles of two coins, Pat, and they have a Master Engravers crafted already. So even if you took away one of the coins, they'd still have the other to craft. This is probably, this is probably my best bet right now. Um, I'm going to craft this T uh, for two points. One, two. Here's the T. I just want to say... We broke up because it was my, it was because of me. It's, it wasn't because of you. I know. It was me. I know, I but know. I'm a little salty. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but um, um I, have... I think I love all of the breakup songs. As it's not me, it's I you. <laughs> I remember all like, I asked. I all remember I asked was you lost the sword. That's all yeah. I asked. What is it? Let's keep, let's uh, keep this friendly. Maybe sword torch. Uh, Danzi, I'd probably coins craft right away just because I have master engravers and I want to make sure that I can take advantage of it as much as possible by crafting then and later. The thing is, if you get Baron of Dirt out, you start getting those passive points while you're also getting the coins. You know, I mean, if we didn't have Earl of Stone already, I would agree with you, but we already have Earl of Stone as well. But it's, I mean, it's the same logic though. You get that's fair, you get Baron of Dirt, then next turn you get coins and ba the, the uh, Baron of Dirt. And that's the next one, you get coins and Baron of Dirt. That's yeah, that's fair. Eight. That's twelve fair. points yeah. as opposed to eight. Yeah. Plus the three from swaying Baron of Dirt, so it's actually fifteen points as opposed to eight. I'm assuming I'm gonna force at least twice. No, that's eight. Where's the eight coming from? Because it's okay. coins twice with oh yeah, Master Engravers. Well, you can only do coins once. There's only one coins. I'm saying over multiple turns. 
I'm just saying there's only well, one coins. I mean, oh, where did the other one go? The cats crafted them. Oh, the cats crafted it. Yeah. Where have I been? I don't know. <laughs> How did I miss that? Uh, that's why he's revealing he's got two coins in hand now because he doesn't care because there's only one. I don't know how I missed that. I said it out loud. Don't worry. You can have this card. Uh, I don't get any points, but I do get this. But yeah, moles are poised to run. Right. Uh, they bought the good shoes. They are okay. cleared the path. And they are ready. They just need the starting line to go. What is it? Torch and a sword? One that they made themselves, of course. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um... I definitely don't want to do the bag. Maybe I should just swing. What is this? Oh, we're torching a teapot. Oh, I could have just done that one. How many things do I have? Oh, torching a teapot. No. It is. Sorry, uh, give me a sec. Can I see the mold's board? Uh, the bag on board? It's a bag. That's what's left. But that gives you more real estate. You know what? I'm not. Yeah, okay. For it. I'm going to torch and sword for this quest. Uh, I believe it's this one. I do like to see, uh, it is nice to see the, the Vagabond denying. points for the tea yet? I think I did. You have uh, gotten two points this turn, so yes. That was the tea, so one. Denying moles the tea craft. Why isn't it I like that little one, feature of uh, being able to check. Yeah. All right, so that's for that quest. I do have a sword, so I think I'm going to swing. Oh, I'm swinging. Yeah. All right. Uh-oh. All right, ambush. Show, that, show that mouse ambush. Yeah, no ambush? Uh, no, not the same. I'll, I'll okay. keep it. Okay. Oof. Right, two. That gets me one point for infamy. And uh, that'll be my turn. I get two cards now. And pass my turn. Okay. Well, moles. Will auditors try to take advantage of that poorly defended cardboard, or will they police the moles? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I appreciate everyone stopping just short of fifteen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Protection yeah. two. Nah, don't Sorry. worry about me. The thing is, somebody is going to get angry on me because <laughs> I, I feel like I, I am the one who going to who is going to choose who will do winner in two turns or something we would be in the same place uh cosmic it's the m key at least that's how i have it set i can't remember if i changed that hotkey what is it m i think you're doing better than what you m just m for magnify ah Jeez. as opposed to alt which knows that <laughs> yeah but i have to take that cardboard as you said so Keep in the wrong direction. Moving here. One fun. W for Wumba. Uh, yeah, the payment's going to be. <laughs> yeah, and then I. Oof. Oof. Cats in shambles. Moles are just happy and they're clearing six, just being like, don't mind me. I mean, yeah, this is looking like a hardcore mole win if I've ever seen one. I will slightly, I'm still, I'm still a slightly well, non-conventional route to get there, but uh, a classic mole win. So I have six guys. <laughs> uh, I'm just... Uh, and two. I'm withholding judgment still, because I know sometimes things come out of left field, and I'm like, and what? Attack. But uh, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a mole's win, Another to say the least. Do you want to use an ambush? Uh, no ambush. One one. And then I will use uh, another fun to battle once more. Ambush this time? Nope. This is the difficulty of crowding buildings of like types together. Nice. Two points. Um, when you lose those clearings, you lose all the buildings of that type. Yeah. Oh. Now. In the lead again. Whoa. Oh boy. Five puns left. Ooh. Uh, Luke, I'll do it more often. How often? I don't know. That's all I'm giving you. <laughs> I 
Maybe it's like an every Friday thing. Instead of posting, I'll just update stats. Um, and Riley, it's still table policing. No, oh, it's a bit harder. To the side. What I should do. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know it's not um, everyone's favorite choice, but that's. I, feel like I, I felt like it worked well enough last year, and I took some motions this year to try and at least make it harder to miss points and things like that. So we'll see how it goes this year. I will say the VP trackers are actually very convenient for yeah. that. Yeah. Nothing, nothing too crazy. <laughs> I'm just a humble... Also, Pat, Pat, I have nothing to do with Timo's ELO system. That was all Timo. Mm -hmm. I think I should hit you. But also, I feel like the most should have hit you last turn and didn't, and passed it on to me. I, my I, fe my worry was, I if you really were so inclined, you could have taken out my clearing here earlier than I wanted, so I wanted to reinforce it. Yeah, yeah. you have a lot of funds, to be honest. A lot of funds, and that false orders was terrifying. Yeah. I was not ready to lose those buildings yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I will have to attack you uh, once at least. So, do you want to use an ambush? Vagabond. Me? Uh, I will not use my mouse ambush. And Riley, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> 2 0. 2 0. Ah, I'll damage the teapots and a sword. Interesting. We'll see, we'll see how things look. What was that roll? I missed that. Two zero. Two zero. Two zero. Is that enough to make you go to the woods? Perhaps not. Beckett, I know you said whisper, but I just hear like that very authoritative, like, there has been a rules error. <laughs> just like, that's all they hear. <laughs> that's all I heard. So you have to go to the forest. I think that's fair. Yeah. Uh... Okay. I mean, I got all this tea. I got to cook it somewhere. I can't just. <laughs> exactly. I could attack cats again. But that's. Come on, bro. Ah. I mean, we'll have six. Wow, six wood. I mean, it's got a lot yeah, to rebuild. Six. Where Still am I going? Reactions. I've got no I mean, recruiters. All this place got opened up for you. Yeah, but where? I am mean, I? you still got hit hard. But... Moles do have master engravers right now, which is why I'm so scared. Yeah, it's just like even more scared for reasons. I think I craft most partisans. Craft. Hanging out in the and, clearing. And then I. Dang, I should have uh, listed what ministers get recruited on what turns. That'd be fun stats to look at. That'd be an interesting stat, yeah. It's not too late to go back and do that. No. Just, just saw three. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Bunny ambush. So, we're still missing one bird ambush and a fox and a mouse ambush, it looks like. It was formal first. Mm -hmm. This turn, this game, it was formal, Marshall, Brig, Earl, then Mayor. Yeah. What did we craft with the um, mouse? Mouse persons. Ah. And with the last one. No, I'm gonna hit that 15 point threshold. Let's stick and scroll. Yeah. Uh, and Riley, yes, I do plan on bringing in 
guest uh, commentators. I just I have to work. <laughs> yeah, with with games all over the place, Lily has to actually work and have a life. And uh, I just haven't reached out to people to organize stuff yet because I was scheduling until like midnight on Friday night before games started. So yeah, it's been a time. I love a time. <laughs> Yes. So then I... I never actually realized what was going on in the informant's art. <laughs> I didn't realize that there was a piece of parchment in the fox's hand. And use it. Nah. Will I use it? I don't know what I thought was happening there. I just don't think I ever looked at it closely enough. <laughs> it's fair. It's it's a card that Look, doesn't exist. That's how I felt. Yeah, that mouse dumb. The card basically doesn't exist because it's so bad. There's only one mouse clearing along the river. It's just very situational. It'll be bad. <laughs> I mean, last turn. Still, pretty close, I can do it. <laughs> I loved those uh, game breakdowns that, that Waterman was working on uh, a long time ago. I don't think he's done any in a long time, right? He's also a lot busier. Not at those prices, man. Yeah, filling oh. my moles back anyway. <laughs> I mean, perhaps I'm stupid if I discard the ambush, but... <laughs> one, time, one day you'll have time. <laughs> I feel that, though. Not enough time to do everything we want to do. <laughs> yes, I discard the ambush. All right, getting rid of the ambush. Um, Surprising. The costs. I would have assumed the dominance. I think the idea was to prevent anyone from buying it. I guess. Certainly. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I think. It. Grad school sounds terrible, Waterman. Yeah. So. There you go. All right, no one broke that fortune threshold. Make chat <laughs> sad. Yeah, chat's just like, where's my gamble? <laughs> I will place the wood. I'm going to... So Cat's in a tough place here. Absolutely. As, as you might imagine looking at it. Going to march. They have been significantly policed. I was surprised. I felt like the Cat's attack in Clearing 11 was like <clears throat> a little too much over the edge. It was, I think it was just Otters being greedy. Because the alternative was to well, go... Well, it was also the Vagabond. Oh, also the Vagabond. So sure. The Vagabond set up the Otters to do it. Right, I, don't, that's right. I don't begrudge the Otters for doing it, but the Vagabond felt a little much. But then again, that's also points for them, so it's hard. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just greedy play. Yeah. And moles are taking advantage of it by just, Greenwood. you know, sitting over in their corner of the map and twiddling their thumbs and being like, I'm not a problem. Not at all. We are officially in gamble range, Beckett. So we'll be gambling at the end of this round, which... You know, is I'll maybe make it a two-minute timer or something. If it's if it's uh, depending on what moles do. Yeah. Uh, Katara, I also don't like the retreat from one. If we're dissecting Cat's gameplay, we we need to keep every building slot we can we can have if we can help it. You know. I think it's the classic cat March. Build. conundrum to try and give up territory in order to protect what you have, but build. aggression is just so easy build, and powerful in root that you'd end up losing what you have anyway, and then you also lost what you gave up. Yeah. Kanesburg, check out the bottom left corner of the uh, of the screen. Um, 
It's a ranger. <laughs> Would you allow me to take one of my marches back? They haven't revealed anything. I will say the ranger vagabond might not be easily recognizable guy. to people who I don't care about vagabonds. Yeah. Yeah. Like me. Okay, I'm going to keep them up there. Then I'm going to spend a blue. And... Great cats. Yeah. Very cool. All right, so cats undoing that half that march so they can keep that building slot. Getting out the uh, zero cost workshop. You don't spend any wood for that one. Oh, that was a free one. Yeah. That was a free and one. You don't get the points either for it. No, no points. Oh, we yep, you're right. Just Whoops, gotten, geez. what, three points this turn? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my bad. I thought that was the second turn. All right. Um. Yeah, tough place for cats here. Very tough place. I do need to put more emotes in. I've been meaning to do that forever. Uh, then I'm just going to... I'm going to spend another blue and recruit... And that'll be me. You've got some fantastic. And I draw. That was definitely a rebuild turn. Yeah. So many birds. That was. Yeah, I mean. Love the, uh, the gift from my ex. I I don't want to say. You bird cards. <laughs> oh my goodness, vagabond. I will say I I feel like the uh, another recruiter instead of the workshop wouldn't I wouldn't have um. You have to give people cards that aren't useful. It's I can have seen it go either way. That's true, but those it's hard to be too critical of it because I think in some respects the game's just over. You know? I don't... Do I hit otters and not score points? Or cats and score points? Moles, what are you doing? <clears throat> Why are you hitting cats? I know I am keeping up in points, but I am also the last in turn order. So... Yeah, yeah but you have the best ability to hit me is the issue. Yeah. There's that. I guess I have. Who was the three recruiter? We had three three wood guitar, so we could have done a recruiter. Marshall, battle battle. Mayor. I out. do I do have mouse partisans as well. Yeah, I know it kinda goes into the I agree one when go. I think I think Mole's only choice here are do I race or do I punch otters who are my only real threat? I was just consider I was curious because I know that they were considering punching cats. Just so Yeah, that I mean I guess the only reason to do that would be like pure points or something. Yeah, he said points for cats or otters for tempo, I think was the, the question. It's a funny place because, like, the traditional root um, uh, mindset and Mole's mindset is to just, you know, race as hard as I can. Hard, hard, hard. And ETO's been sort of recognizing that the, the pace of this game is a little more languid and has been Same. reflecting that in his Mole play. And it's it's working out, you know? I totally messed that up with uh, keeping that wood there. Uh... Ten, come back to the borough. Uh... To my ministers, I'm going to Marshall. I think. Are, are we assaulting the keep? Yeah. That's what it feels like. Uh... Uh, I forget. I'm going to Earl of Stone for two points. We're abandoning those buildings, which is. I'm going to rig battle the cats. Box ambush uh, there. Yeah. Or is the idea to do this and then move back to one and we've blocked off our buildings from this side of the map? Maybe. Oh. Yeah. It's all right. One point and then second brig battle, same spot. Or like maybe the plan is to just head back to nine or six after this. Like maybe maybe we just use mayor, copy, Bridget, and Burrow we'll back. Here. I think we just withdraw. Yeah, okay. I accept that the otters are going to also orders me this turn. First move. Oh, we're just going to abandon the buildings. 
I think the others are coming after them, so I guess... You have to use battles to do it, though. Or have to use false orders. Them all in there. This is this is no this is an interesting value proposition. It's if I'm going to lose those buildings anyway, mm -hmm. why waste warriors defending them? However, the other the thing complicating it is we assume we're going to lose it because of false orders. If we leave it too lightly defended, they don't use false orders, and that's still a threat. Mm -hmm. So you have to find that right balance of how much do I defend it so that they still use false orders, but how much do I do I not defend it to preserve those warriors, you know? That's fair. It's interesting. Banker, we're not doing the, um... Okay. What? What's the, what's the third lord? <laughs> third lord? Hmm? The third lord? Yeah. There's duchess and then there's, um, uh, lord of... Stone? And Lockhart. No, it's uh, earl of stone, stone. and... What is it? See, I told you, Otters, I, I, I shouldn't have been the target. It's Duchess of Mud, Baron of Dirt. Baron, Baron of, Dirt. of Dirt. That's what it is. Thank you. Yeah. And I, I was highly tempted to go hit Otters there because. Yeah. But that, that having a, a wood and a sawmill and you having all this other wood was just. Too tempting. You're, 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 you're getting wiped out, but you're having plenty of space to rebuild every turn. Yeah. I mean, personally, I think. Just doing that. I think this is probably too few moles to bait out the false orders. I think I'm going to swap meet. Oh, well, let me refresh first. I'm going to swap meet the moles. Yeah. There you go. Check any. Uh, uh, let's take that one. Oh. Nope. Well, you can, you can have that back. That was <laughs> box card of some kind, wasn't it? Moles did sway. They swayed Banker. They swayed Banker. Uh, you, you can have that one back. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. You didn't take... Oh, nope, it was a purd. All right. <sighs> or was it a mouse? Uh, or a bunny? Let's see. I think I'm going to forego my slip. We're not going to the forest. Let me, give me a sec while I count this out in my head. Uh, oh, no. We're counting. What is it? What uh, quest do we have? It's right. a good question. A uh, T-Torch, a Torch Crossbow, and a Boot Bag. Do we have a crossbow? We do not have a crossbow. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to explore. To get that bag. For the last ruin. And... We have nine cards left in the deck, surprisingly. Not a heavy draw game. And... Moles didn't go market. Yep. Otters went like dividends and cardboard searching. Yep. Uh... Cats are cats. Vagabond's Vagabond. And then... Vagabond game. has drawn a lot of cards, actually. Repair. You're you're true, true from the quests. Yeah. <laughs> they were made for walking. Um, and then I'm going to quest. Uh oh. For three points. For three points. There's a baggy and a booty. And uh that is going to give me trace points. One, two, three, and then I'm gonna make out with the otters. Uh, my last X was so abusive. Uh, I had to move on. Did I get the point? One, two, three. Got five one, three, this good. turn. So one for explore, three for quest. One. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that's right. Yeah. What did you get? The last. I am about before? to give you uh, this card. Here you go, Ben. Very important. We flip it over so that nobody can see the otters. To me. Ah. Oh, okay. The otters. Ah. Yeah, yeah. oh. And then I draw two, and end my turn. Some lovely loam. Oh, wait, now I feel bad. Vagabond keeping up a good pace. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, what? No, I feel bad for hitting you when I get oh, it's okay. the right it's back, okay. you know. It is interesting that, that the otters hitting the Vagabond didn't cause them to go hostile. Yeah. First. Protectionism. So two new orders, and then... At the end of this turn, we will gamble. We will? So, warning, heads up for chat. Yes. Get your Garrick Bucks ready. We are gambling imminently. Total points, right? See Pat, like, having, like printing them out. <laughs> just, like, rubbing them together, yeah, getting ready. Correct number of points. You're supposed to get five. Yeah, yeah okay. I don't think I anything in previous turns or not, but... No, no, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. 
VB is not over statue limit, I don't believe. When I counted before, they were at statue limit. They are at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Yeah. So I guess I have to hit the most this turn. Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> you need to hit the moles like three turns ago. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't have the markets out for card draw. But... No. So perhaps. Yeah, I made a mistake it's... putting down two citadels. Probably should have been a citadel in a market. Well, I think you played more. It's so hard because the second citadel has such a better return than the first one. But... Right. Right. Ugh. I just thought that we were going to get more buildings. Yeah, I thought we were going to get a market out so much sooner, even if it was in addition instead of uh, instead of. Like shoulder. What was the last quest? The last quest was the logistics help. Thank you. In mouse. Yes, I do. Hmm. But now that banker's on the board, I think I think you're ahead. Yeah, I have to do this. So, one move, I move all here. This is interesting, we're not doing any recruiting before moving. And then I do a second move. I think so too, Katari, but it almost would have been worth it anyway, I think. Then I use... Well, you didn't even use the false order, so all right. No. And then I put down a trade post here. Might as well. It does lose us two actions. So two points. But it does gain us a warrior to it go does. to the fight. It does. So it's like a... Just got to make sure you have enough actions to actually do the job once you're in six. Yeah. Which it looks like we probably do. Cats. Outside of like truly horrendous rules. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I guess that makes up for the two recruiters you killed. I think the I think the bigger question is, do we end up stuck in clearing six, or can we make our way back to the river? Because usually, when you're doing something like this, you want to have enough actions to to dash out, dash back, and that's where I'm concerned that using the trade post. You'll draw some three O's. Here's the thing: I may leave us trapped here. Do I use them? Replacement quest is give a speech. Torch T and Fox. Was, but I I don't have to now. Because I could ambush him twice. He'd be down to two otters. I mean, I guess if he rolls a three on the first battle. I still have mouse partisans also. I Dan's. I like Corvid planners for otters a lot for this exact reason. It means you can go to something like clearing six here and not worry. Yep. You know? Absolutely. And that can be huge for otters. At the same time, this map is thin enough. Like, maybe it's maybe it's a moot point in this game. Maybe. You're wiping out moles. If you don't expect them to come back into six, per se, maybe you you plan on two being a safe escape route. It's hard. Some A lot of the conventional heuristics for root are not applying to this game as cleanly, you know? Then you have to discard them as well. In a normal, a more normal game, I would be like, you know, screaming from the high heavens, moles, moles, moles. But right now, moles might actually be hurt by this. Otters might profit know. enough. I, it's hard to say. The question is how many battles I need. Minimum two, possibly three. Yeah, so then I can... I think I craft Corvid planners first. We're planning on using mass part of them, so I understand why we're doing this. Yeah. Yeah. So I could leave. Correct, Dan's. We do not have a protection backup lord, so we are losing a lord and potentially a noble here. Yeah. Ambush? No. <laughs> oh, the, the talk. Ooh, 3 1. The... That's good for moles, though. That means moles can guaran basically guarantee uh, only a single price of failure. Yes. It would have to be a 0-0 zero, zero roll now. Should use one guy for that, and the second one... Uh -huh. Go for it. Uh, for another battle. Yep, roll it. Yeah. There it is. Single price of failure. Three points. And the others get three points. Uh, Chirosku, I agree. I think 
I think moles probably could have prevented this by killing the otter ball. I don't see cats going out of their way to hit moles when they've been set back as far as they have. And with just like the action economy, I don't think they would Stop. want to. Yeah. Here's your war trophy. <laughs> and what do moles lose? Let's see what we lost. One of the coins. Coins. Uh, AJ squared. They could not because moles had a tunnel there to soak the last hit. And, lift. and defender chooses building loss order. Of course, I put yeah. Or building slash token loss order. Not. Yeah. Yeah. Also, also for oh, warriors. Also warrior, but like, it don't, that's only relevant for warlord. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready to hit cats when they uh, burst here in a second? Ah, yes. Classic burst cats. I mean, they have no. Oh, they threw two wood on the board. They have two wood on the board. They're getting two more. Things just cleared up. Otters are on the other side of the map. You still have the move. Is the issue. I don't. I don't think cats win, but I like they, they do probably get some points. I still think they're probably rebuilding. <laughs> Perhaps it's safer to me to stay here in mouse. Kind of. I mean, yeah. I mean, he can't get to you. Neither. Well, I guess I can, but. Yeah, I mean, I'd still expect this to be a mole game right now, but mm -hmm. that's only if moles, like, go go into a bunny clearing, plop down two markets, craft coins for four points. I really was expecting the um, yeah, I stay here and take Baron of Dirt to come out last turn. Yeah, it. And then I leave the pawn. It's weird because the false orders is still around. It, yeah, moles are on like a two to three turn clock, and we can expect them to lose those markets because of false orders. Yeah. So it, moles do have to be careful to do it properly. Yeah. All right. And that's the gamble. Time to gamble. But so that signifies the start of the gamble. Is gamble is open. Get your bets in. I honestly have no idea. I don't either. I don't either. Like I said, my my usual heuristics are kind of out the window right now. I do think otters have a path. I, I, I honestly feel like everyone has a potential path. It just depends on what other people do. I think I think Jam Man is maybe on the slowest path. Um, just because Jam Man has to get more warriors on the map, move them, and build. Mm -hmm. Um, can we see otter funds? Absolutely. Otter funds are two cats, two moles, four otters. Place two wood there. I'm going to. I thought it just got really quiet. All right. Uh, I will. Vagabond is currently like hurting a little bit with its items. Yeah. I'll point out for everyone gambling. One sword, one T, and one boot in the damage box. But we do have a hammer. But we have a hammer. We've got two T's still up. We've got a coins. We've got a Gonna... bag. Like we're we're not in a bad spot. No. I will say what's interesting Archie. here is the clearing cats want to go to is also the clearing that the vagabond happens to be in. Right. That's sort of awkward. The eleven clearing. Uh River Folk. Yeah, we're picking up points. Alright. Oh, I should parse them so now he can't so he couldn't build. Oh, I could. Oh. And then, so he well, well, he didn't move enough in to maintain rule after losing one. Action pieces? Yeah. It, it is. That's the seat you're gambling for. Yeah. <laughs> so no. you're currently gam cosmic, according to the two, you're, you're gambling on moles. Right, then I'm gonna battle you. Oh, oh, Have I gone crazy? Let me think. Is it worth it? Me. Oh, to the faction meeples. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, no. Twitter or Twitch. Twitch doesn't have anything like that. I understand. I understand now. Uh, I don't, but I do. Plus the two cardboard. Points. <laughs> I don't have that many. Twenty-three. I, already I don't spent think. Two no, yeah, I think it's all right. You, I don't use partisans. Okay, uh, then I'll attack you in the fox clearing the seven. Yes. Cardboard hunting. Yep. 
then I will build a crafting for it's the best return on investment. Wood and two points. Yes, if if you're going to put a building out that you expect to lose, that's the best one to put out. It is. I'm supposed to spend blue there. There we go. And that is my turn. I draw a two. I'm just now imagining someone being like, I'm going to false order you into the lake. Go commit suicide. <laughs> right. All right, big turn for moles. We get to see what they're going to do now that they've been wiped off the map. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> can you false orders from the burrow? Yes. Yes, you can. Really? Yeah. Come out to play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. A vagabond has a high scoring. Vagabond has a high scoring turn this turn. Yeah, he's I have got, a zero scoring got, turn this turn. Well, vagabond could um, not wasting time hitting a vagabond. That gives me no points when I'm going to be falling vagabond behind. Actually... Okay, so Mole's not feeling in a hot position now. It's interesting. So sounds like somebody should have hit him. <laughs> yeah, I left, I left that. I left that for you. Yeah, you you took away all my scoring. So, what are prices like? Oh, you're scoring two for a card. All my scoring yeah. ability, so I'm not gonna. I'd pay two for a card as moles right now. Well, the game could be over. We only lost one card, so four four well, cards is still a decent amount to work with. Well, with five cards, uh, oh no, because we're out of nobles. We're out of nobles. So um, if we're just no, looking no. at that squire. Because five cards gets us dig, build, build, sway a squire. I don't know if we need to necessarily dig. We're two away from clearing five? It's true. It's just nice having that tunnel directly in your clearing. For exactly what we were seeing with six, it could have been the difference between one price of failure and two. That's fair. But you're right, it's not necessary with a tunnel over here. Yeah. Or with a tunnel in eight, you can just move up to 12. It's true. Or move over to nine, try to wipe it out, and then build there. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of options that we don't need to necessarily dig with. So I think four cards is very doable. It's true, it's true. To be honest, they cats my gamble's closed. All right, tell me more. Tell me more. Position with all that wood there. Uh, two people on the other side of the board bet two K coins, three percent on cats. That one of them was Andrew Riley. Twelve people <laughs> bet thirty-five point eight K coins, fifty-seven percent of the vote on Dutchie. Andrew Riley's Four people gambling eleven point eight K coins, nineteen percent on the thief, and then five people gambling thirteen point seven K coins, twenty-two percent of the gamble on Riverfolk. Yeah, it's a pretty good spread of ish. Of the map. It really helped cats, but I can't do anything about it at the moment, I think. Um, not ends keep myself in the game. So I have to at least score some points. Don't dig Sway Baron if your cards minute would that be a recommendation? I do think that is a perfectly good turn, Dens. If you can, if you can not dig, if you can keep your warriors in the burrow, as much as possible and just get a barren sway. Yeah. That would be sick. I mean, what clearings are we in right now? We're in fox, rabbit, mouse, fox. And fox. Yeah, what? Oh, and fox. <laughs> yeah. So fox, 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 rabbit, mouse. Yeah. And break battle. I do think setting up for a big turn next turn wouldn't be unnecessarily negative. Right. And it's 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 good for a few reasons because it means you get to score off of it as soon as you build your markets. Mm -hmm. It means that you get a pretty safe three points right now. You preserve your warriors uh, at the moment. It's all in daylight, so if I do this wrong, we can always walk it back. Sorry, I was laughing at that. In here. I'm, I'm also laughing at that. But yeah, I agree. Doing doing a little bit of a sandbag turn and then exploding next turn seems great if you're not going to get to like 27, 28 this turn, you know? Yeah. I And I do think an 11 point swing turn is not, is doable for the, for the moles. Move here. Yep. Doesn't give me any cardboard points. Though. But also, yeah, getting... Getting markets down, crafting a coins, and then... I will say, I do think that we're a little bit more nervous about the coins since we lost one in our hand. We still... Yeah, so you're saying we're, we're making it a bigger priority to... To, to craft them. Just but because... we still haven't cycled through the deck. Right, so then... 
Who knows when you can get it again? No, but that's, you yeah. still have one in your hand. Mm -hmm. Nobody has the other two. Because they're still in the discard pile. I mean, the Vagabond has the other one. He stole it. Oh, Vagabond stole it. I didn't realize Vagabond stole it. Or somebody stole it. Then Mayor. What are you talking about? Did Vagabond? Oh steal no, no, no! You're, it is, it is. No, no, it was price of failure. Sorry. We'll let otters decide who's more of a threat. Uh, P Warren, thank you so much for the sub. A lord out. Score it. You still have banker though. Yeah, I won't be bankering this turn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then. Twang a squire. Everything except banker. I will not be using banker instead. Need two points. How many funds? Three, six plus the two is eight. Yeah, otters. You're probably gonna have to police because I think I need to get in the forest. You know, I would trade that if vagabond goes into the forest. I'll police. Oh, I meant, well, I meant cats. Cats right now. I think yeah. have might have something. I mean, at twenty one, I know they're cats, but still. I would be of, more afraid of Dutchie than cats. Like, I think they're saying everyone needs to work against the moles. No, no, they, no. Vagabond just said well, that yeah. the otter should yeah, police I'm, I'm debating cats. On my just, turn. I'm just going to banker these two cards, I guess, instead of they're both birds. Yep. Instead of oh, that's fair. If you're not keeping them, and two points versus the one, two, it's a better. Eight. That's a delta I can actually understand. <laughs> so proud of myself. To my hand, I will craft these coins for four points. Yep. Because I have Master Engravers. That's good. We're at 25, but... That's enough. And draw three cards. And we got the immediate draw three, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. The danger is that we get policed and can't get five points next turn. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's kind of... I do think that moles are on a one to two turn clock. I mean, they're on a one turn clock if they're left alone. Agreed. You know, because they have four points from banker and then a cardboard right there. Might not be four points. I don't points. think I have another turn. So I don't... They have banker mayor. Kind of... Right, but if you have three suits way, or four suits, kind of... if they're all different suits. Well, no, because because the fourth suit includes with any of. Okay, fine. Five. So there's three suits. <laughs> Nah. I mean, I could steal so I only have three points, yeah. but still, you're not wrong. I, don't have the points. Like, I mean, honestly, if moles can just get the cardboard that's kind of laying around, we've got trade posts. Somebody's definitely gonna say cats. I, either cats. Uh, chat. The problem with the problem with buying from otters right now is we only have one warrior in the bag as moles. Yeah. If we get bopped, then yes, we can purchase. Cats and cats hit me in most games. You police left. Yeah. Cats are not able to police. They are so thin. So you probably yeah. yeah, I don't see a world where cats I'm... win, and I don't see a world where cats police after getting bopped. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused by the bopping of cats. Alright, well, I'm gonna refresh, and then swap meets. <laughs> You're right, Nev. It'll never go wrong. Never. So I, I have to repair. Hold on. G give me a second. Yeah. 11 points. Even if I slip there, I still gotta get back. I can't, I can't get back. I guess I need to get... One went to go, yes, unless something happens. Yeah. If you leave moles alone, then like 99% chance they win. Get back. There's no... There's no fox for... Oh, wait, wait, wait there's one. But I, I still gotta get back to mouse. And there's a cat in every mouse. No pun intended. Um, I don't. I don't think I can. I do think that if we were going to go back to the forest, we should have done it earlier. Yeah. Yeah. It. We, we, um... Did, did we end up going through the deck at all? It has it's not been reshuffled well... yet. <laughs> still sitting in there. Yep. I've never seen a game go to round seven without the deck being reshuffled. Yeah, that's not common. <laughs> that's pretty insane. I love it. Um, but yeah, I think Vagabond probably needed to go to the forest sooner if they were going to do it. 
Uh, it's like what's, what's people have in their hand and then give it back if you don't like it. Yeah, that's, it helps that's, them. that's a good point. Yeah, well, I mean, I haven't counted the exact points, but that feels about right. Given they have one, two, three wood on the board, they're getting two more. Uh, well, five in total, so they can get a recruiter and a um, private workshop. Or another sawmill. Let's get some to 26 pretty easily. Yep. Uh, they've got a mouse and a bunny workshop, so not too hard to believe getting one to two points so off of crafts. Right and we have one free attack in the bunny clearing in five. Nothing that helps me. Bunny clearing in yeah. five. No crap. We do. That's a that's a good spot up there. <laughs> do we have rule to build? We do here. We can actually go from four to eleven through so one to five to and build twice in five. Yeah, if we're looking for slots. I think so. Like, I, there's a world where I see twenty nine right now. And I don't think I have eleven points. I can get four, but I'd have to get back, and there's no. I think Katz mentioned that they got a bunch of bird cards from Vagabond in AIDS. They did, yeah. So like. We could be fighting an eight to get that tunnel, or ten to get that tunnel. There, there is a world where cats win. There is. There's a world more cats... possibility of cats winning than I realized. Oh, no, yeah, no. and they have eight warriors in the supply. It looks like there's a bag and a boot in Otter's hand. Yeah, cards are cheap. We could buy twice. It. This could very well be a cat win. Um. It is closer than I realized. I was not looking at it hard enough for yeah. cats. Oh, we could move from 9 to 12 and also just take out that other post. <laughs> from 9 to 12? Yeah. That's true. How would I do that? That 3 wood is there already, yeah. It's not cat's turn at the moment. It's vagabonds. And then we have otters. And then we have otters. But I don't believe that if you hit cats, cats can bot moles. Agreed. Happening. And then they need to hit cats, but they can't because they're stranded in no man's land up here. They'd have yeah. to use what one, two, three, fun, four, possibly four funds. I don't know where the cats or they need it. Cats is yeah. just in the keep clearing. Yeah. Four funds just to get there. Yeah, cats are just gonna field hospital. Uh -huh. So more likely, otters are just gonna come right here and hit me, and then cats are just gonna win. Well, I, I mean, don't think we, I'll end this turn. we don't we don't know that cats have the the nine. How much? They got three wood with two incoming, five. How much can they? And there, there's plenty of real estate, right? Katara, that is also true. There's plenty of places to build, but I don't know where I'm picking up the four extra points. Let's see, five from building, and then depending on how many bird cards they have, there's all kinds of undefended cardboard with five. That, yeah. That, yeah, but with two, they have to have a that, ton of bird They only have to move to hit some of these. Yeah. Um,. That's a good point. Um, yeah, I guess. I'm wondering if cats see the crafts though, because that's probably the one that might be the hardest, especially since it's not in hand. To get... And it's it's also hard because otters haven't gone yet. Otters might use up those options. Also possible. Um, but with the right overworks, like Katari said, could maybe still work it, make it work with recruiters. Yep. If, if I get a second, so, but I don't. Think... But yeah, the table is also noticing. Well, would you like to end the turn in the for uh, end the game in the forest and don't do anything on the last turn? Yeah, I don't. Or, think or will you have the that. turn to yeah. actually <laughs> actually do something? I mean, I think yeah. the vagabond. The best situation here is vagabond pleases cats, and then otters please moles. Well, I think vagabond also needs to consider: Does vagabond win this turn? No. Do they win next turn if they don't go to the forest? Probably not. Yeah. Which means Vagabond just needs to count on going to the forest, letting otters police cats, cats police moles, and then Vagabond tries to win coming from the forest. Well, I think we that's all... Vagabond's path. Vagabond already stated he's not going to the forest. Yes, that's the thing. So given that world that we're in, I think Vagabond policing cats and then otters policing moles makes the most sense to maybe yeah. get another turn. Because otters are definitely better at policing moles. Giving yeah. cards to sway. And Vagabond gets points for cats. It's true. Get to the otters. No, I still need two boots. So three, how many, what are we at? That's a mouse, so that's four. I need two plus three is five. I don't have the five. Um, I guess I get quest for it. 
Damn, I can't really Our mouse quests are worth four right now. And there is one there, but it requires a crossbow. That's which oh, we have not here. seen. Up here. Oh, it's hiding. Yeah. 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 You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave I the boat. I hold on, hold on. I slip. Boot. Craft. One point. Then three buddies. That's four. That's six. I'm I'm looking at six. I mean that puts me in a good position, but then moles can just punch me in the face. Well, granted, I'm hoping otters are gonna police moles. I guess I have to. Uh, otters are in the same place as before. They have two moles, two cats, and four otters. With an upcoming protectionism. Hit pretty hard, and I don't think they have the win. I think you have the win. Um, Can we just talk through how they possibly have the win, depending on how many bird cards they have in their hand? Yeah, if they this have the bird cards. Thing, nothing. And, and you have the coins, so I don't think they have... Coins are all See, going. I would not want to win. talk through the win, because oh, then okay. you tell them how to win. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if they don't see it. <laughs> That's, that's the slip. And then I hammer the booty for the booty. Oh, I don't need the boot. Slip, slip. Oh, I can repair the sword. Oh, no, I need to craft the bow. Yeah. Oh, I don't need the crossbow then. Why even slip there? If I can just slip the rabbit. Because that's, that's three... I'm quite confused as to what's happening. Yeah. Vagabond's planning the turn. It sounds like they have a crossbow in hand. Yeah, I don't need the crossbow. The, the, I'm going to slip in this forest here, right? And then, then, and, and then boot oh, okay. into rabbit. And then I can repair the sword instead of crafting the crossbow. <laughs> and then um, aid the moles, then take a swing. Cats are gone. Swords. And then there is a trade post right there. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, and it's not a bad idea. one less piece of cardboard the cats. I know that they dropped from Discord earlier, yeah, yeah, so yeah. they might just be having some technical yeah. difficulties. Oh, I got, yeah. I got disconnected. <laughs> oh, from the game. Yeah. Okay. Waterman. I mean, yeah, that's a good Really, you should come up with some, like, catchy, uh, catchy term for that. Yeah, if only there was some easy-to-remember phrase referencing you. And describing that emotion. Yeah, those those feelings that you have. We'll I feel like the, I feel like we're missing that the, in this uh, this tournament. The quest. Or just like you know, in this game in general. It also help if there was some sort of visual aid that helped remind us of that. Oh yeah. Booty. With a sandwich. Into, For no reason. Um, <laughs> uh, here's a repair for the sword. Oh no, here's the sword. Okay, that's repairing the sword. So, Vagabond's hitting the, the duchy. To, uh, quest. And this, this goes in here. Yep. And that quest. Two point quest. Here. And Man that, of water postulate. Uh, <laughs> let's see what this quest is. Box quest is coming out. And a boot would have helped, but it doesn't help me. Oh. The Hydro Guy Decree. <laughs> All right, well, I guess this is it. All right, so. And then I can swing. Oh, wait. I refreshed the satchel, so this actually should be here. Right? Yes. Okay. Um, so well, I was waiting to see if you caught it. Uh, I was it was in it, then I refreshed it. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to aid twice. Okay, so we're not doing any, not going aggro at all. Just getting unless uh, unless we're about to exhaust like a. We're uh, aiming the moles twice. We're yeah, but we could exhaust like a bag and a coins, coins or something. Two. Yeah, all right. So that's true. All right, so one, two, three. Uh, I'm gonna aid. Oh wait, I can aid the otters. Yeah, you could. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you, can, oh. you can do the otters twice and moles once, or yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. At same points. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, uh, uh, oh, because that would take us. I, my Japanese is very rusty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. Except it's I definitely don't want to. I, it's not existent. <laughs> I know it's Japanese, though. So I'm proud of myself for that. <laughs> I have a mouse, yeah. rabbit, box, but I don't. I mean, the suit of the cards won't really. <laughs> suit clearings, I mean. Yeah. Two. 
need to move chat over a tiny okay. bit, don't I? What's that? A rabbit. I just noticed the so, here, I chat up here is a little bit. To the moles, I will give one card, and that burns a coins and gives me a point. And then to um, that's not what I meant to do. What's your trading post looking like? Oh, you got. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna give you one, and you don't need that. So two, and this might help you get some funds if you need them. I am gonna have to destroy some stuff. I don't want to lose my swords. So there is a teapot with two bags. They do a bag, so you're, you can just toss out your damaged items anyway. Yeah, but I can't. I can't aid. Oh, that's a good point. Very good point. Very good point. All right. So that's an aid. And I get two points for that aid. One, two. All right. So moles are at first base. Otters are at second base. We've gone polyamorous. With that. Now I can swing. Question is, do you take out the undefended cardboard? That's a good question. I have a good point about taking away cardboard for cats. It's hard for them to get there, though. No, it's not. Otters. It, they're, they're a march away. No. <laughs> me. Otters can easily kill me themselves. They have false orders. Uh, and by you hitting me, it makes their job easier, which allows them to use their funds to score points instead of battling. Oh, okay. So I can hit you once. And then maybe trade if I hit you if I get two hits I'll trigger one in for me for the points and then I'll get the point. That's a good and then I don't lose I don't lose uh, allied with okay that's a good point. All right, so I'm gonna swing at the trade post. Auditors, would you like to ambush? Do you have an ambush? No, I don't have. Okay, that's a one point trade post. There we go. That's one point. And then uh, moles, would you like to ambush? No. Okay, one two. What did we get? Nope. Sad. Right. Big sad. I'll take the hit. We're now hostile. We are now hostile. Very short term relationship. Yeah, I know. It was... That was a very bad first date. <laughs> um, uh, okay, let me get my points and then I'll damage something so you guys can go. What points? I get one card because I burned my coins. Oh. And that'll end my turn. Um, you have to lose some items. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna... I was trying to do it quickly, but this does matter. So. Yeah, no, you gotta do the stuff in the right order. Don't want to damage my swords. Technically, the card draw is first, so. No, damaging the items first. Oh, damaging the item. Wow. Um. Yeah, we should damage the item, then go to evening, draw a card, uh, remove items. I guess I'll damage a teapot. That's it. That's it. And then these. Wait, I get six plus two, so four, four. Yeah, okay, so that's it. These these are removed from the game. All of the tea. The tea obsession is gone. So what were your six points that turn? Just make sure I'm following um, up. <clears throat> I did them as they happened, so I should be good, but I got six. three points from aid. Um, aid, one for the trade post. Correct. Two from giving a speech. Did you do uh, the quest, quest. two. Yeah. yeah. Points. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. very... I mean, honestly, if it was an earlier turn, that's an amazing turn for the Vagabond. Oh, yeah. And particularly for starting with, like, damaged items and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Does put him in a bit of a rough position next turn. Yeah. That's the thing. It's It felt like a final burst, and it didn't get us to 30. Yeah. I think I should have rushed. All the funds. I think I should have rushed. And by giving Moles cards, it, it did help out Moles' banker initiative. Yep. Okay. Granted, the... the the hypothesis is that otters are going to offset that now, but... We shall see. We shall see. I'll note that... Uh, Cats did end up being untouched this, this round. Yes. To be honest, uh, and I'll note that we're probably, rapidly missing the window for false orders. We should probably false orders and, and get rid of yeah, that. Yeah, I, I have... There isn't much else for me to do, I guess. Yeah. As you said, you I am... Just like you hit cats a little bit if you have the actions left after you wipe out my buildings. Yeah, and I don't think yeah, I yeah. have it. And maybe you could hit the buildings in two different attacks. Well, that's I don't, that's a magical I mean, ask. I mean, this this could just end up being a cat's win. At least it's not going to be easy. After all that talk, nobody has done anything to cats. Moles have requested that even if they get hit, they would prefer the cats to be at least touched. Yeah, but we shall see. We shall see. I have to put down some trade posts as well. 
on my way. These otters do want to score points as well. They don't want to just be... It doesn't look like they want to police from last and not feel like they're also gaining ground, which understandable. Yeah. And two moves. I will say the only hesitation I have about a cat's win is when mess up my perfect purple and green color scheme. Because <laughs> purple, green, and orange don't have that same like cool vibe to it. So first <sighs> feels like a very awkward com combination, honestly. Is that not the complimentary trio? Because it's red, blue, yellow, and isn't it purple, green, orange? On the I'm just trying to remember Superman versus Lex Luthor colors. No, you're right. It is it is the secondary color wheel. Where would I still you... don't like it. Ideally somewhere where I can hit cats in case they don't win, but it's particularly the shades. Yeah. Clearly. Got it. Got it. Nah, no, it's just it's not. <laughs> I mean shades do matter. Just by hit Yeah, if I put you there. Is it the Irish flag? Just... The Irish flag has purple in it, and not white. You're gonna lose one of I thought it was white as well, but I don't know the Irish flag. Which means I'll have just two battles and... All right, I'm going to just stop talking. Assuming I had all the same suits. Uh, once I trigger price of failure, uh, possibly just three... I somehow know the Irish flag. <laughs> two cardboard with my two battles. Yeah. I had a feeling that's where that was like going. Doing eight or three. All right. Eight being, well, let's see. Cat, cats have one place to, uh, they have two places to build, so it won't matter about moving wood. So eight doesn't matter that much, but it at least forces me to move into a clearing with cardboard, so that doesn't yeah. doesn't help me too much. What do you think, cats? Um, <laughs> I've been well. I've been trying to mull over how I'm winning this for the last thirty minutes. I'm struggling. Uh oh, cats don't think they have the win. I didn't think that they saw it. I uh, know. I think, I think regardless of where you put the moles, I think they might be able to figure something out. It could be a bluff. On the next turn. Um. Yeah. I think. Yeah, they... Would I share it with the class? No. I think... Would I say I was mulling over it for the last thirty minutes and not having uh, and having trouble? Probably scary. also not. That's not how I would phrase it if I was lying. I admit. Their double boots to move into that clearing could help. I lost so... one of my boots. I just yeah, there's... Well, the mul... he'll be, he'll be able to slip oh. into whatever clearing he moved me to. Yeah, he's yeah. already in the same clearing as me. You're right. Um, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's up to you. Oof. Yeah, I'll be totally honest. I don't think it matters that much. Um, Can't argue with that yeah, logic. Yeah, no, Arizad, you're not wrong. I don't see cats winning this turn. Although, they have been very quiet, so... Turn. They have the workshop. They can craft, what, bag with that. That's one. Build, build. Not noticing the other workshop, but did mention the items. I think all the bags are either with the otters or in the discard. Are they? Let's see, there's one there. Are there there's, there's three in the deck, right? Yeah, there's two in the discard. Okay, so he's not crafting bag. That's good news. And that's the only... Well, he has one more workshop. Where is it? How many funds do the uh, cats currently have? As I recall, it was like seven. I've got one there. Eight. All right. Boots accounted for. I see one with the otters. Are there two in the discard? So we could purchase both cards if needed. One, two, both in the discard. Okay. I'm fairly certain there's just three of each boot and bag. It's true, Dan's. Losing a noble is going to suck. It just depends on what cards he has in his hand because he got aided by the vagabond too. So now he's got five cards to work with. And that potentially could be the win just on Banker. About Assuming we only price a failure once. Assuming we only price a failure once. Which we don't know. Yeah. And I mean, we don't what? have that tunnel to manipulate that. In a magical world, all five could be the same color. It, wasn't matter. it wouldn't matter at all. We have two fox trade posts, two mouse trade posts, and one bunny trade post. 
27, and then he needs bird cards to get So what would be very interesting here is because the river folk hand is over five, he could discard the items. That's true. True. And that could put a very big damper. This this game could actually go a lot of ways right now. It could. If he can win, you can't do anything about it this turn anyway. Or that turn. This is... This is rough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, yesterday was exhausting and, like, a, so many things happening and all the stuff. This is, like, the nothing's happening, but everything is happening feeling. <laughs> I need... I'm, well, I'm adding in bird cards. I feel like I, li I this is how Doctor Strange feels, with, like, have. seeing multiple universes solutions happening all at once. <laughs> it have to be March. There's a bird card. Battle, battle. You'd have to have three bird cards, I believe, and you could win. We can count all the bird cards. <laughs> uh, well, oh, we did reshuffle. <laughs> or we're about to. <laughs> take a look. We're going to take that. Well, we don't have what's in everybody's hand. Just the otters. Eight, nine, ten. Currently accounted for. I actually have no idea how many bird cards are in the deck. Oh, make that 11 accounted for with the dominance. It's too many. I'll, I'll help you out with your math. It's uh, too many yeah. in the discard are, file. Are we allowed to Google search how many bird cards in the deck in the middle of the game? <laughs> <laughs> if I had one more fund and got the best draws of my life, I could have won also. If I got the hammer and the coins. No. Coins are gone. Yeah, coins are gone. That export ruined your games. That deck should be refilled, though, yeah. for the record, if anyone's wondering at home. That deck should refill the moment it empties, not the moment you try to draw from it. I always forget that. It's such a I mean, weird it, distinction it, for me, but it, it makes sense. I think it's more typical in board games yeah. to reshuffle it when you yeah. draw from it. Okay. I can't think of any other games off the top of my head that do it on empty. I'm sure they they exist. I have to do something. <sighs> that, that was that was the best play. You, I mean, you saw a thief with two teapots and a hammer. Yeah, that had, would have been too scary. It's not often that uh, dividends and export are used for our plays. <laughs> <laughs> it's still been a very cool game. Yeah. Destroyed my whole game there, but. You let me come back, so thank you. Yeah. I mean, it was good of you. I, mean, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, I. Never, never is talking about those as being like game wrecking moves. I think those were exactly the right moves. If anything was game wrecking, it was maybe like. I haven't thought about everything. Why are you putting him in your path? Corp planners. I don't know what's going on. No. But I probably would have tossed him somewhere where it interrupts uh, the cats, like, the caps and cats in some way. Like put it here to block the building slots and protect the wood or a, a tunnel. Um, that's that's where I put him. That's where I put him. Here. Do you empty the draw and discard with lost souls? <laughs> because you're constantly filling the deck. Mm, I see. I see. <laughs> Take two of my own to get the trade post here. Put two more. So points. two trade posts. Got one in six and the other in the top right that I forgot the number on. Then I move. Move. Grabbing, grabbing our friends on the way through okay. two to twelve. Then every one here. And we have four battles left. Yep. That, that should be enough to crack that. Battle with the cats first. and Oh, wait, no, we don't have post. I would say battle with the cats first to see if we can put another trade post down in 12. Yeah, just leave a fodder behind if you'd like. What are we talking about? Uh, I was saying you battle with the cat, using the cat funds first. Oh, using the cat funds. I see. Sorry. I understand how that was um, poorly worded. Post, maybe one more Dang you, English. Why you gotta be complicated? Or not complicated enough. Um, trade posts. Well, you're parked on top of un two independent trade posts. Oh. I mean, it's yeah. impossible. Oh, we have mouse partisan. 
We don't have rapid presence. It's impossible to wipe that clearing in two battles. I'm just saying, well, you can see where two battles lead you, and then... At most, it leaves one oh. market behind. That's fair. I have to think. At which point, you may as well just... Time. That's better to... Kill it. I think we're considering trade posting now, though. Could be dangerous. I mean, I guess... One of you will win, either way. So, I keep what I did, and then I attack Moles. Roll. Do you want to ambush? No ambush. Pretty sure it's in the discard. Both cat, both birds, and the rabbit. Oh yeah, yeah, bingo. Oof. Oof. Not a good start. Then one more battle. I feel like you should battle the Vagabond once more. 3-1. That's unfortunate. I, I have no two pots. I'm refreshing three items. Mm. I, I, and then... A th right, need a one or a three. <laughs> I think I right. didn't put... I counted I should be able to do four battles, so... Yeah. Now it's my third battle. Hey, I, uh, it sounds like they mismanaged their funds for a second. I know I'm oh, zero, zero, one, one, not three zero will work. I still get one price. That is exactly what ETO wanted. Yeah. I don't think I win, but at least I'm closer to it. Let's see. Which noble do we lose? I was super Bridget at this point. Yeah, so now I have one fund left. I don't know. I don't know what the killing. I'd have to see what the hand looks like. Well, well the thing is, we do lose the minister first. You're going to repair right. three items. Uh, we did it backwards. I three items. I don't. I don't think I can. Refresh. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't know. It doesn't say and then discard random cards. It's and discard. I confirmed so this I... with Joshua Yearsley. Huh? I confirmed this with Joshua Yearsley. Get out of here. We did get rid of Bridget. Hey, I like I my semantics. <laughs> or just drop another otter. Crafting, craft that bag, craft that boot, get them off the table. Yeah, crafting an item would be good. Get a point, deny a point. Exactly. Just yeah, one you otter. Could, you can move that position. Because the last boot and the last bag. Yeah, I'm thinking about that. Oh, yeah, there you go. Craft a bag or a boot. Get yeah. yourself a step closer to the win. Yeah. Yeah. And then Otters. So Otters made six points this turn. Yeah, no, big big turn for Otters. They're in range. Give them another turn. Things look good. Yeah. So I get the... Yeah, Dan's... The law says the reverse order, but Josh confirmed that the board should be correct oh, yeah. in that instance. Okay, so we did craft the bag. And it's a relatively recent ruling. So totally understandable. That's part of the reason why I vocalized it here, so people learn. Yes. Um, now it's your turn. All right. Do cats secretly have it? Uh. Uh, Nefer Nefer needs to discard. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's not a no. I mean, that's not a that's not a yes or no. You know, that's, that's... not an answer to the question. Yeah. Then, it is then I would have besides all the things you, you could have done do. soup kitchens and then dominance, but all yeah. your uh, oh. green posts and the mouse clearings, you would have had it. Oh. One of these days, I'm gonna get badgers with soup kitchens and dominance. Yeah. Get those devout knights, with the relics. Only need one relic. But more will help yeah, control. You, yeah. Because they're one of the few factions that can have multiple tokens in one clearing. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. So, and then I take hand cards. I take everything to four. All right. Cats are buying. Yeah. It sounds like. No, uh, that was the river hook. Yeah, but I think, I think I saw cats hovering their mouse by their warriors, and they were asking for the discard, which that's explicitly relevant for. Man. Buying the travel gear. One blue card shy of uh Ooh. of winning this game. 
Got some got a bad draw last round. Can you buy the um, buy the soup kitchens? Okay. Are we purchasing? Spend eight. Buy the travel gear and soup kitchens. The best eight purchase. Goes. If that's your win, you know. Yes. Can I see the cat's board zoomed in? What do you mean their board zoomed in like this? No, like alt it. Okay, so three points, six points, four points. Okay. Eight cats in supply. So two purchases. Mm -hmm. If they want it, mm -hmm. and we're on a we're on a trade post. Mm -hmm. Two trade posts. We're on, yeah. So I'm just trying to think. Mm. 27. Yeah, it's doable. It's very doable. It should be very doable, I would think. I mean, even with just soup kitchens and travel gear, you've got one point from the boot. You can do... You've got those two battles... And then just like, a, I don't know, you need two builds too. Which is four, yeah, that's four actions. So it's very doable. Yeah. Mm. And Riley, currently cats should have a win on their turn based on what we're seeing. The question is, does Jam Man see it? Oh, wait, no. I think he might need to overwork once for that to be that doable. Because it's only five points with the, cat, with the wood that we currently have access to. Three. If we had three, one four, more, five. Because we do a work, we do a recruiter, we do a workshop. That's five points and not six. So five will get us to twenty. Oh, I twenty six. Twenty six. One from the. Four yeah, I guess it's twenty nine. Oh. So we need another bird card. So we just need an overwork. So we need a bird and then the overwork. Angry. We've got the overwork, I would assume. Assuming, yeah. If he doesn't have it on his turn. But he can very so, easily get to 29. Easy 29. Hopefully. Not hard to get to 30, but have to have the right cards. cards. We have the one bird card in hand, at least. Oh, yeah, Dan's Otters open up the endgame puzzle so much. So much. Which also makes it a lot more difficult because you have so much uh, more to consider. Yeah. Okay. Uh, see, the problem is I could throw all of my funds to the river folk and not win oh, <laughs> yeah, we could just all throw all of our funds to the river folk just see how many we can put in there yeah, yeah right <laughs> <laughs> and just have have a wall street win cover his entire yeah. board with sleeping meeples yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, um yeah exactly Katara. you don't get another turn regardless so what do you do oh okay so, I try for it. Work. So we are overworking. Oh wait, no, doesn't make no any sense. Points. Six points. Uh, I work craft seven, but would need to buy the blue and the red. You can do. Uh, man, it's annoying. Um, I think he thinks he only has seven funds. No, I don't think so. He mentioned having two purchases, didn't he? No, he said I would need to buy the blurred and the red, the blue and the red. Which to me indicates he thinks he can't buy both. But I mean, he corrected his warrior. Uh, yeah. That tells me that he should know he has eight. Wow. It's too bad. Um, Oops. All right, I'm going to place my wood. I will. I'll uh I'll battle you in the I'll battle your trade post in the five clearing. Yep. Easy point. 
No crafting. And I'll battle your trade post in the six clear. Another easy point. Yes. And, um, and there goes any chance I had. So get another round, I think. Really? ETO doesn't have it? No. Agamon might not have it with only three items. All right, we're just putting ourselves in striking range. I think so. And not putting out any cardboard. That's my turn. I will draw two. Oh, uh, we need the deck shuffled. Here you go, Tixie. Hang on. Right, I, I would think for sure ETO has it. Uh, it's got to be a bluff. Right or no? Oh, yeah. Sorry, we'll search for the dominance card. How many warriors does Moles have? Moles has nine warriors. Yes, they can buy two cards. There's no way. Uh, do they have a trade post? Yeah, they do have a trade post with them. Go in there. They stay out. Oh, they stay out. Oh, okay. I've only been playing that wrong my whole existence, so. <laughs> uh, all right. And then I draw two. And... I have to discard. Right, and the trade post is a point, and like I, I don't see any world where ETO doesn't have it. It's just such an odd comment to make. Unless he really doesn't see it. It's, it's an odd comment to make because it's not like, you know, the remaining two cat actions are really messing with your ability to win. That's me. It was just, I, it sounds like they were relying on those on. trade posts. I have two daylight actions. I will go ahead and clean up this cardboard point. Yeah. And the otters. Not buying. I don't think that they see that they could buy. We'll see. We have Banker Mayor. I will. Well, if they needed to buy, they had they already passed that. So why not? Yeah, but we still have four cards. Three ministers. I will Banker three mouse cards for three. Okay, yeah, he's got it. And then I will mayor my banker. There we go. Okay. Ooh. No, he's at 29. What? No. Oh, okay, he's at 30. Okay. The, okay. the trade post was the... Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. Um, We're going to give me a heart attack if that wasn't a win. Me too. <laughs> I, uh, I was, one I was more desperately hoping... <laughs> you would not realize you could march in here and battle that. Ooh. There we go. I think if you had killed both these trade posts instead of these two, I could not have won. Well, good game, ETO. Great game, everyone. <laughs> that was an interesting one. Uh, way to go, guys. Thanks for, so much for playing. Uh, we will see all of you in the next round of the tournament. And everyone watching, thank you so much for watching. We will see you later tonight for our next tournament game. So we will catch you then. Watch out, watch out for my losers run. <laughs>